I hope you all are ready. I'm going to be playing Tendril Warrior, and then if there's still time, I'm also going to be playing um, Control Blood Death Knight with the Unholy Rune, so we have Lilia. Uh, that's basically it. Just need to do this thing. One second. Go live, put in the thumbnail, and then we are ready to go. I hope you all are having a wonderful day. I am streaming a little bit earlier. It is true. And then after this, I need to stream League, and then I need to start scripting my, my next League video. Let me just, uh, where's the thumbnail? I guess I can queue up, actually, while I wait. That wouldn't be a bad idea. This is not my deck, by the way. Where is the thing? I feel old when I'm looking like this. I don't know why I'm doing that. Mm, let's do that one. Let's do that thumbnail. That'll work. Uh, ba -ba 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 -ba. that works. Boop. Okay. Hey, how's it going? Let's go. Hello, my friends. Hello, 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 hello. This is not my deck, though. This is Tyza's deck. I did change one of the cards in ETC from Armor Vendor to the Chaos thing, the five drop that gives us even more tendrils because it's fun. <laughs> All right, uh, I'm pretty sure I would like to keep Sanitize. Hold on, let me also turn on my deck tracker, my pay to win uh, thing. I don't necessarily want to keep Eye of Chaos. Maybe I keep Slam in order to kill a Needle Rock Totem from them so they can't draw endless cards. Might actually be okay. We'll play the Needle Rock Totem, probably coin it out turn one. If I'm to be quite honest with you, it might just be better to just, just boop. Just throw it out there so I can draw cards and gain armor as quickly as possible. Because I think they're going to be Nature Shaman. They're going to try to OTK me. So my solution to that is just going to be, okay, let's see if I can survive all the damage that they're going to try to do. And if they use a damage spell to kill this off, that's also fine. I don't really mind. Taunt Totem. Doesn't really matter. Let's just Hero Power. Uh, yeah, we'll just Hero Power. For now. Gain more armor, draw another card. Kill it off with slam next turn. Probably forge sanitize, to be quite honest with you. Early today, it is early today. Oh, shit, they killed that off. That's not good. Um, Yikeru, my friends, yikeru. So we're going to uh, forge that. And then probably just slam this again. I'll be able to play Sanitize later on. I don't necessarily want to draw. Eh, I do kind of want to draw a card. Let's just do that. Steam Cleaner is not bad. Yeah, we can play Sanitize on turn five. We'll take a decent amount of damage. He is overloaded. Sanitize will be able to wipe this whole board, so it won't really matter. In theory, I can go Hero Power this next turn, but I don't really want to do that. Bellowing Flames. Okay, hold on. Uh, this into Shield Block, probably. Just to gain armor, limit the damage I take next turn. Just, again, limiting as much damage as I possibly can, I think is best. I'll have one mana left. Technically, I can also play this, play this Chaos Tendril if I want to. Let me think. If I forge this, I can forge this and then just Hero Power as well, which is fine. Yeah, I can just forge this hero power. I can just do a little bit of setup. It's fine. It's not a big deal. Hey, how's it going, William? Hello, Jerry. I checked out Norwees's and um, Old Guardians, but what the hell are you? Oh, this is not good. Oh, they're gonna... Oh, no. They're gonna pop off quite a bit, aren't they? One, two, three, four, five, six. So there's a world where a minion lives, but most likely, actually, we can just keep sanitize. Most likely, this three one dies, and it's really the only one that I care about. The one two living isn't really that big of a deal. Then we can just do this. We can save sanitize for potentially bigger board because they'll probably pump everything up anyway. Blade Storm's pretty good. Yeah, this plus this is a five mana deal nine damage to the entire board board wipe. So that's that's pretty solid, I would say. Love your new setup. I appreciate that. Thank you. I worked really hard on it. I think it sounds really nice. No, not my tendril, man. Uh, how am I supposed to pop off now? You jerk. Also, that's kind of crazy that you're committing that many resources here. Bash is cool. 
I mean, this into Bash, I guess, just to kill off the 2 2. It doesn't really matter to me. Really doesn't matter that much to me at all. Could also just be heavy plate, but I'll just kill this off. It's fine. Eh, maybe it is just heavy plate. I guess Bash probably stalls a little bit longer. Like, I can get more total mana. We'll hit that. Doesn't really matter too much, honestly. I guess if he gives all of his minions plus two, plus three. Six mana for what? Oh my, that's not good. Yeah, this doesn't matter to me too much. I'll just wipe this board. Dude, if they didn't have this one one, I could have wiped so much of the board with Bladestorm here, but it's okay. We'll do this, boom, and then we'll also draw some cards. Boom, into boom to wipe the board and gain nine armor, and then we'll draw two cards on top of that. No brand yet. Well, speak of the devil, golly. Love to see it, actually. Love to see Bran. Being able to play Bran will be huge. You can just start playing a bunch of Chaos Tendrils or whatever they're called. No! He's gonna pop off. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We trade here. We'll go Bladestorm to kill it. Bladestorm, and then on an empty board, we can go Bran. We've got a Brawl with this as well, which is pretty nice. And a lot of armor. I don't know. I think this is winnable for sure. Uh, we weren't able to play Bran on six. We had to play him on eight, but definitely could be a lot worse. All right. Wait, what are you, is it summoned or played? That you've played this turn that didn't start in your deck. Okay, so it's just gonna summon a two, two. Oh, fuck me. It's gonna summon the slimes. Oh God. Okay, please draw me Reno like right now. Oh no, it's a disaster. It's gonna summon the stupid ass slimes. Oh no, okay. Top decked Reno would be the best case scenario for me. If not, oh, maybe I just armor up as much as I possibly can't wait. What? No, oh my gosh, this game just keeps getting worse and worse. Um. So this, I guess I would rather play this into this into just three tendrils and just hope for the best. Just don't draw me too many cards, please. All right, let's see what happens. We're just gonna send them all. My hand. Wait, what was the second card that it cast me? Eh, it doesn't matter. Keep summoning. Acolyte of Pain's wild, though. Okay, gain me some armor. That keeps me alive. Oh! Now that's pretty good. Let's actually hit here before my board accidentally just wipes itself. That's not bad, actually. We've got ETC to get even more tendrils, by the way, which is pretty nice. Ooh! He gets the slimes. Wait! Oh, God! Um... Fuck! No! Oh god, I didn't, oh no, no, no. I didn't, oh no, I ran out of time. I'm gonna take so much damage for that. Oh, it's so dis, oh, it's disgusting. That's so annoying. What was I thinking? What did I do? It's okay, it's actually not that bad. It's actually not that bad. It could be worse, it could be so much worse. I, I, I even traded the one into the wrong one. We're not gonna talk about it. We're just gonna play Brawl next turn with this. And then gain some armor. Oh God, that was so bad. That was so bad. That was truly awful. Oh my gosh, I could have killed off the four. Oh my God, dude. Do I wanna play Fizzle? Honestly, kinda, yeah, this hand is not that bad. This hand's pretty good. I feel like I'd rather play Fizzle after I play ETC though. So this is six mana. I guess I'd rather play Fizzle now. You know what, no, let's see what this gives me first. This could potentially wipe the board or overload me too. Okay. Um, did I, did I overplay my hand a little bit here? It's possible. Uh, boom, and then, and then fizzle, I guess.
I am gonna get absolutely demolished. Wait a minute, 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 wait a minute. What nine mana spells are there? What ten mana spells are there? No, this can wipe their board. It could be table flip. Okay, that does nothing. Okay, I'm just hoping it kills the four one. You killed nothing? What do you mean you killed nothing? Oh god, okay. So that's fine. No, it's fine. It's honestly, it's honestly fine. It's honestly fine. As long as I live this turn, I play this and then three tendrils, and it should be fine. Uh, oh goodness gracious. It's against me. What a complete disaster. If I had just played the trial by fire correctly and I took less damage, I'd be fine right now. I would be chilling. But because I messed up like an idiot. Oh god. I respond with my own Reno, I guess. Dude, what did I do? Oh, that trial by fire turn was so bad. I just ran out of time. We're not overloaded, though, so we can just play this into four tendrils and probably win. Ugh. I waited so long to play the card, man. That's fine. Hopefully, I don't just, like, die this turn. Statistically speaking, I think it's pretty unlikely anyway. I would assume, but you know what they say about assuming. <laughs> uh, I feel like Fizzle might be a bit too greedy. I'm trying to think about it. I'm trying to think about what I would like to put in instead of Fizzle. But I guess in like really long matchups, maybe you'll need it. I don't know. I just don't think matchups are ever going that long. Do I not just win here? Hold on. Do I not just win? Like, this doesn't give me all of the things that was the problem. Maybe I just play Fizzle and I do some setup. Do I think he can do 15 damage to me? Because if I play this into this... I mean, if I just play three Tendrils... I'm gonna need an above 50% chance, which is, is not super likely. Yeah. I could I could lose still here, I think. But I need an above 50% chance because it could table flip. So having fit like look at that double table flip. Give me okay, give me one of those. That's nice. Give me like a taunt minion to protect me. Not a okay, see? Like if I tried to commit to the other play, I would have actually lost there. I could still lose this turn. Replace Fizzle with the Lifesteal Rush Zilliax with a battle cry to summon a copy. The problem is, like, Fizzle does get value. Wait a minute, but Fizzle's actually kind of bad because if I shuffle duplicates into my deck, Reno doesn't get to actually go off. That doesn't matter to me at all. That, that literally doesn't matter at all. I'll just play all the tensions. Like, it, 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 it does not matter. Just in case I get table flip, we reset those. We'll do this, this, and then Zola, and then we'll just play as many as we possibly can. Sure. 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 Zola puts two back into my hand, and I play one, and I just need one to land. If you don't mind. Okay, cool, we win. All right, that was a good first game. A pretty good first game. YouTube again, no notification? Dang, dude, the ge uh, bleh, not the game. YouTube doesn't want you to see my content. This deck is fun though, I'll admit. I don't know, maybe Fizzle I take out. Zilliax could be interesting for sure. The Lich King. Oh, they probably just like run Helia for some reason. I do want to try to find Brand though. None of these cards are really good, to be honest. 
I do think that this is a bad matchup for me though. Coining out Bran, we don't have coin. Playing Bran on curve could be very, very good. Do I want to play the Tendril? On turn one, just to play it. I would rather get the double activation. But at the same time, just getting something out on the board isn't the worst thing either. I'll probably hold on to it, it's fine. Any good hunter decks right now? Oh yeah, absolutely. Hunter's actually in a very good spot right now, actually. I would say Hunter's in one of the best spots it's been in a while. Like it's always been at least moderately good. Like aggro Hunter's been decent, but my goodness, Hunter is up there as one of the top three best classes by far. Aggro Hunter for sure is good. Um, Then there's Highlander Hunter, which I think is okay. I haven't really like looked into Highlander Hunter that much, to be honest, because Aggro Hunter has been so good, but I would assume Highlander Hunter is also fine. Please don't get the, f oh, he's gonna get the Plague Weapon. Oh, it's so demoralizing. If he stops my ability to get Bran out, I think the game's just over. I think this matchup just sucks because he's going, he's going the deck. He's going the, um, the version of the deck that runs Helia and the spells that put plagues into the deck. Because there's no steam cleaner, right? So they literally only need to run Helia and one other plague card and Highlander decks can't function, which is very frustrating, by the way. I hope that they... Well, that sucks. Oh, and you're gonna play the weapon? Well, if they don't have Helia, I guess it's possible I still win. So we'll, we'll chill for a second. They coin, so that means they're not gonna coin out Helia. We're honestly gonna just hope to draw these things as quickly as possible. We're hoping Acolyte of Pain takes damage, but like, it's just it's just a counter matchup. There's not really much I can do about it. If I can get Brand down, that's great. Even if it's not like Helia, it's fine. If they don't have Helia and I can draw some of the plagues, we're very happy about that. Not a duplicate. There's a chance that he gets, oh, wait a minute. Hold on, hold on, hold on. We can hit Helia this turn, which would be insane. I'm gonna do this and hope to hit Helia. All right. Well, that's unfortunate. Maybe they don't have Helia in their hand. Okay. Sure, it kills off that, and then they're able to kill off the Acolyte of Pain as well. Interesting, they're not gonna kill off the Acolyte of Pain. I guess it makes sense, they don't really have to, but... Five memberships, thank you so much, Nidza! Thank you, thank you, thank you, much appreciated! And we got a Frost Plague, which is very nice. And we drew a Plague there, which is also pretty nice. Draw some cards. Heavy plate. We can trade that away if we want to. Although I might need the armor. Oh man, shield slam would be so good to just kill this minion off. All right, so we play Bran in a kind of awkward position. But then once we've played Bran, we're pretty happy. But thank you, thank you, thank you, man. Much appreciated. How are you doing right now? How are you doing? What, 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 what's, what's the occasion for gifting subs? I appreciate it a ton though, for sure. This standard is really bad for trying to brew control decks. You don't have steam cleaner anymore, so plagues and wheel warlock just control you. Yeah. No, I think there's a, there, uh, without steam cleaner specifically, I think that, like you can't have a card that says you get infinite value. And then, like, you just can't do that, right? You can't have a card that just gives infinite value and not have a, a way of countering it. Like, yeah, you can hit it with Dirty Rat, but that's not, like, a reliable way of beating it. It's very unlikely that you're actually able to, like, do that consistently. 
kind of just getting run down here, which is not great. Let me tell you. Do I want to kill Ma and Pa or the thing that gets poisonous cards? We drew Frost Plague is so frustrating. This into Brawl, sadly. It's not bad. I just, I can't let all those minions stay on the board and I don't have a way of wiping it anyway. I don't know if I'm dead this turn. Oh, the 2-8 living is crazy. I don't care if they have that much HP. If I can just survive these next like two turns, I'm happy. But I need to survive the next like two turns. I need to survive the next like two turns. Oh, it's gonna be so close. Cause I've got this. I've got Reno to slow them down, maybe play around a death rattle or something. And then I've got this, this, hero power. Hopefully I can draw like safety goggles or the totem or bash or something else that can gain me armor. But holy moly, dude, it's gonna be close. Trying to find a budget hunter for looking for a suggestion. I mean, if you want to go to, um, it's just going to be, it's going to be Reno. I have to wipe this board. It's, it's, it's non-negotiable. We have to wipe this board. Zola's pretty good, but we just have to do this. I hate doing that, but I, I have to, because I'm going to die next turn if I don't. And it slows them down. But you can go to this site, Hearthstone Top Decks, and then you can just sort by whatever class you want, Hunter. They're not budget, but Aggro Hunter in general is just a fairly budget class regardless, so it's fine. You can, um... Well, okay, to be fair, Highlander Hunter was friggin' expensive. It was like 25,000 dust. But Aggro Hunter is usually very cheap, so you should be able to find something with that. Wheel Warlock is a control deck. It just has a stupid one card combo win. I mean, yeah, and that also, in a way, has a way of playing around, um... Do I just play this? I would like to gain more armor from it because I just got rid of this thing. Could be Trial by Fire. Go bonk, bonk. And then we can also draw, I guess we can draw a card first. What does this deck run? I think he's going a deck that I've, I've seen before. Let me just let me just look to see what's in the deck. Because I'm pretty sure it's this list right here. What removal do they have? They don't really have any insane removal. So if I flood the board with like a bunch of 2-2s, two I think it's pretty safe. So I guess I'd rather draw this card and then go Trial by Fire. Aftershocks is interesting. We'll go Trial by Fire here. And then just bonk this once and get a bunch of tutus. He can play another army of the dead, but if he does, most of the board gets wiped. And again, I think with 12 HP, I should be okay. But I do need to gain armor for next turn because he can play the Climactic Explosion, uh, which would be very, very bad for me, obviously. I would probably lose. Hmm. But yeah, if you want a good deck, you can also just go to HS Replay. If that site's available to you, you can go here, go to meta, and then this deck right here, Spell Token Hunter, is relatively cheap. It requires, doesn't even require this many legendaries, to be honest. Um, my board's gonna get wiped, whoop de heck and do. Uh, but like, Zilli, um, Barrick and Leroy are both free. Zilliax is kind of important, and then this guy, you can replace him with something else that does damage. It's not really that big of a deal if you want to. It'll be worse, but if you want to put in like a kill command, it's probably fine. Armor. This'll gain me armor. This'll draw me another card. Actually, is it worth it to just play? No, I need to play. I need to shield slam that, but we'll draw two cards, which is pretty good. We'll gain four more armor, which is never bad, and we'll draw two cards, which is fine. We got a bash, which is also pretty nice. We're at, we're at a good amount of HP. They've spent, uh, they have spent 15 corpses though, because of this at least. So just right off the bat, we're in a bit of a pickle, but we can play ETC next turn and start summoning tendrils. That's annoying, but fine. 
Because the next card's not going to have the, um, yeah, it's not going to be restricted, which is cool. All right, so the explosion. Oh, he's also spent at least five with this. And then two. So he spent, I think, what's it called? 22 corpses. I don't know why I said what's it called. 22 corpses, which is a good amount of damage. And I don't really have any more removal other than sanitize if I can draw that. One more okay, fine with that. Hurt. He'll draw four cards. Oh, they're just gonna let it die. Oh, they want me to overdraw. Interesting. That would be... Yeah, that is interesting. Get your own pan! This... Get your own pan! I will lose this, but Aftershocks I think is still good. Um, and then we'll just go ETC, get two of the things, possibly just pump them up. Maybe just play the weapon so I can do some damage real quick. Gain a little bit more armor off of this. Sets up for more armor next turn. We'll see. We'll be happy with it, hopefully. Doesn't seem too bad. No blade storm or sanitize. Oh, sure, fine. I mean, that's annoying, but I mean, at least he's not playing the explosion this turn. I did not get Rust Rot Viper. I might take a lot of damage from this, which is a bit unfortunate. We've already played Reno. Maybe it's time we play Fizzle next turn. I think next time we play Fizzle. Oh, shit. Oh, gosh. I'm going to take a lot of damage. Okay, I mean, it's fine. Would I rather gain armor first? I would kind of rather just flood the board first. Because I don't want as many cards to come back with Fizzle. Just gain as much armor as possible. This is fine. And I want to play this and then you and then this. But I need to empty out some space in my hand first. So maybe I just go this, this. Because I also don't want to draw a card because I'm so close to fatiguing. This is if it kills the minion, right? Yeah, okay. So we can go bash. And then we can go slam. And then we'll do this. And then it'll do two damage and then one minion. Or then one damage. And then we'll go fizzle chaotic temporal. We already have our um, Highlander thing go off, so we don't really care about that, and then we'll go to Tendril. All right, let's see what happens. Give me some good luck. Come on, let's get it. I'm happy, I'm ready, I'm ready. That's not the worst. I mean, I can, I can use this. Like, this is a usable card. Also, no Sanitize. If they summon a bunch of minions, I could just die. So, it is going to be a little bit problematic. Deck code? Um, one second. I can send you the deck code. It's not going to be mobile friendly. Well, I mean, because it's not available in some regions, it's not going to be mobile friendly. So, I'll just do this. Boop. I'm going to be frozen every turn. What do you mean, man? What do you mean? Oh, and they're infinite. Shit. Uh, stop. I'm begging you. Cool. That'll get me four of them, which is very good. We'll play one. We'll probably play two. That does nothing. We'll play two. Um, I think I have to kill off my own minion here. I do have to kill off my own minion so I don't overdraw next turn. Then again, overdrawing is not the worst thing in the world, but it's still good. We'll do that, and then we'll go through the Felon Flames. Flame Strike. That's useless, but we're actually very happy with that. 
No, that's actually very good. That's actually very good. You don't even have to use through the Felon Flames. So if I want to play Zola, do I want to play Zola on the Celestial Projectionist or on the Tendril itself? I'm trying to think. Is the Tendril itself better than the Projectionist? Hmm. I think that the Tendril is better. I think that playing it on the Tendril is probably better. Because it gives me like a guaranteed thing to play. Well, there goes Zola. That sucks. That was actually pretty raw. Oh my gosh. Everything's dead, man. Now that's... That's a lot of damage. That's a really good card. I think this card is critically underrated. I want to try to run it in a deck of mine at some point. Dude. We got a physical snapshot though, which is nice. Mm. It's gonna be the Scourge. I don't know why I did this. It's gonna be the Scourge, which means I can't summon this, unfortunately. I don't know why I summoned this dude. That's nice, though. That's exactly what I wanted. I think I have to kill you. No, I guess I don't have to kill it. We can do that, and then this, and then this, maybe? We can we can see if we gain uh, armor first. No, let's see if we gain armor first. Most I do like this, and we get to excavate, which is pretty nice, I guess. I would rather do that than draw a card. Next spell, uh, that could give me two plagues, so how about not that? This could give me a coin, which isn't the worst. And then I can give anything rush at some point. It's not a big deal. I should be able to outvalue them at some point. Right? Paladin is stupid, but stuff would be better if control decks could thrive. It would help pa keep Paladin in check. I think there are some good control decks out there. Like, I think Warlock is solid. I just think it needs maybe a little bit more healing or removal. Or maybe just aggro needs to be weaker, to be fair. Um, I think that warrior is honestly not that bad either. Like this deck has proven to be pretty good and it's not even like the good warrior deck. It's the way more fun one. And honestly, I think it is still pretty good, but it definitely has its own set of issues. Actually don't like playing meta decks to reach legend. I usually just play fun decks. Um, don't really care about my rank this month. Paladin is so dog shit. Can't wait for it to be nerfed. I can't wait for it to be nerfed either. Uh, I don't know what the nerf is, but I'm assuming that nerfs will happen. Yeah. It's pretty good. I freeze my seven. We drew Sanitize. We don't actually even need to forge it. We can just kill them, um, which is probably for the best. Let's just full face and then the thing. We could forge it, but why would I do that? Why would I forge it? It costs two more mana to do it. I don't really want to. So I guess it's just play it. Do I think that he can kill me in some other way? No. So I'd rather just do that and kill the board. Yeah, there's really no reason not to. We can um do this. I guess we should have done this first. I don't think it really matters though. Boom. Boom. Oh, we get two coins. Oh, I forgot about that minor thing. Uh, let's do this. We can play through the Felon Flames. I'll just play it now. It doesn't really matter. Because I just want to make space for Fizzle Snapshot so I can get more things. I can't believe I lost Zola, though. We'll go coin, coin into Fizzle Snapshot. Oh! What's this? 
Tremors is getting nerfed. Okay, so they're gonna be one mana three ones, maybe. I don't I don't actually know, but I would assume. This paladin card's getting nerfed. This paladin card's getting nerfed. This paladin card's getting nerfed. Thank God. A shaman card? Oh no, I guess because of nature shaman being able to get a ton of things like lightning bolts guaranteed are kind of bad. Um, a druid card, and I think this is a mage card getting buffed. Zilliax getting nerfed, although I don't know if this is a specific Zilliax, and then two warrior cards. I don't know if I'm happy about... No way, dude, really? Stop fucking please! Holy shit, dude. Um, Chaotic Tendril, it's all 10 mana spells at this point, so it's not going to uh, mess me up anymore. Then we can go, uh... Yeah, I don't really want to do that. Um, <laughs> well, maybe we do want to do it to make space. We get two of them. We'll play another one. Do I have any minions to draw? I guess I do technically have a minion to draw. But we'll do this first. See what happens. Table flip. This still has the ability to rush in to empty or to make some space. But then again, maybe we don't have to. No, I guess if we do it now, if we get double of the other thing, we just win. We don't get double of the other thing, which is definitely a bummer, but it's fine. Uh, gain some armor, shoot him in the face. Fine. Oh shit, we had a Zola. Man, if we'd gotten just one of the deal, like double cast, table flip, double cast, table flip, if one of them had been the deal 10 damage, I win. I still think that I'm in a great spot and I should be able to win, but it is just a little bit frustrating that we uh we missed. We're gonna have to send these things in to make space for more tendrils. Actually, no, we don't. We literally just win the game. Interesting. I guess technically we don't win the game quite yet. Can we not, please? Can we fucking not, please, for just a moment? Holy shit, dude. I do think I have to just hit this. Zola to get two of these things into my hand. I could have played the uh, the Eye of Chaos, but I think my hand's a bit full. This'll kill this off. I'm just trying to make space, I think. This hits this. Actually. In case it's table flip, we'll do that. And then we'll do one of these, and then we'll do another one. Man, I was hoping it would be table flip first. Oh, another one of these is huge, though. Um, we just need one of them to give me lethal, right? Are you serious? Okay, thank goodness. Okay, good. I forgot. I, I didn't realize this turned yellow. It, it The first one was table flip, and I was going to lose my mind, but, uh... What happy you won? But yeah, I don't know. I, I think Odin being nerfed is fine. Aftershocks, I don't like Aftershocks being nerfed because of how strong aggro is, you know? Like, with Hunter and Paladin being as strong as they are, you need cheap removal like Aftershocks, but... Maybe I'm wrong. Hello! When a card gets nerfed, yes, you do get dust refund for it. You do have to disenchant the card, but you get a full dust refund. This shit type of warrior actually also should be nerfed? I don't think so. I think it's pretty fun. The first several ones you play, you don't know what's gonna happen. And it takes a long time to set up, and at least, like, it's not an insta-death, right? 
versus Arthas. I do think that it has some problems though. You will know endless torment. I'm really okay. So we have Dirty Rat. We're gonna play it on turn three. I like this hand a lot. Dirty Rat's apparently not good when kept, which feels weird because you wanna snipe Helia most of the time. I feel like no. I'm gonna keep it and try to snipe Helia. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You wanna try to find Bran as quickly as possible, but I think I wanna try to find Helia here. Chaotic Tendril, I don't think I ever wanna just do that. Do I wanna just play this? What can they do for two mana to kill it? I guess there's stuff that they can do. So let's just pass, it's fine. Do I wanna play Dirty Rat? What cards could they be playing? This might just be the control deck, actually. You know what? This might just be the control deck. I'm not gonna play Dirty Rat right away. I'm actually gonna get rid of this. I'm not gonna get rid of it, but I'm actually not really gonna like play it immediately. The Citadel stands strong. I can bash that and then play a Tendril maybe. I'm trying to think here. What deck are they running? Cause I'd assume that they, a lot of them run that, but if it, do I still just play this to play around Helia? Oh, I don't. I'm not gonna do it. I No, they're running Helia. I'm trolling. I don't know what I'm doing, dude. Why did I do that? I should have just played it, because now they play Helia, and I... Because there's some versions that don't run Helia, and I just don't know what version they're going. Okay, well, this means that they're playing Helia, so I need to definitely be careful of that. Oh my gosh. Okay, so they're, they're, okay, so they're going the Helia version. I just need to figure out... Huh. Okay, so that's a bit of a problem. I think I would like to just keep gaining armor. I don't really care about you and the excavates and whatnot. But then again, thinning out my deck if I can draw Bran in time. I'm kind of trolling this game. This game was this game has been very poorly played by me, I think. I genuinely believe this game has been very poorly played by me. But not drawing Bran isn't like my fault. It's not something I could have controlled, really. Don't be two of the same one, please. Okay, it's two different ones, that's nice. Okay, so he's gonna try to discover Helia. Now we play Dirty Rat, because I believe that this is a turn where he would probably want to try to play the card. Do you, did you draw Helia off of that? Mm, okay, that's even worse than Helia. Fuck me, okay, um... Hit that a couple of times, please. Oh god, I just can see it. it's GG, it's over, I lost. They've, I pulled out the Primus and they probably have Helia. Fuck me, they discovered a card from their deck, it was probably Helia. I don't know, it's just such a shit matchup like without any counterplay it feels so fucking bad to play against plagues like i would love to be able to play steam cleaner i would love to have some sort of counterplay and here uh. versus arthas you will know endless torment arise and carry out our lady. no the reason why i thought i could snipe is because they discovered a card from their deck and i was like dude it's another fucking death knight all right, I need it to not be Helia on four. Why am I playing against so many death knights, dude? It's just completely shutting me down. I guess there's a world where maybe I can outlast them with like this if I coin it out, but I need to save the coin to coin out Bran in case, like just in case. Is it the same player? No, it's not. The name is different. Without Steam Cleaner, Plagues just stop all Highlander decks. I know, it's so frustrating. Like, you could be like, oh, you're playing Highlander Warrior. Blah, blah, blah. You deserve to get countered or whatever. But, like, 
in terms of game balance and from a game design point of view, there needs to be something that I can do to counteract that, right? Like, there needs to be something that I can do to counteract this. Uh, you can't just have a card that 100% counters another deck without any way of being able to counterplay it yourself. Okay, that's not Helia, that's fine. I just need no Helia for two turns. Actually, at this point, even if they do play Helia, it's only one copy of each thing, so it's kind of fine. Hmm... I'll just play this and pass. There's nothing really else to do at this point. I coin out Brand next turn and we go crazy. I don't know if I want to necessarily double activate this battle cry though, to be fair. It could also just be like a four. No, if I draw a card, I'll overdraw. Okay, so I have to do something here. I have to play at least a card. Even if this isn't free, maybe it's just worth it to play this and then forge that. Yeah, we can do this. Because we'll draw a card with this, and I don't want to necessarily overdraw, so this is fine. And then we'll draw, and then we'll draw, and then we'll uh, coin out Brand next turn. I couldn't kill this, unfortunately, because I couldn't execute it. I don't have Shield Slam. It's it's fine. I agree. It's like a one-sided counter deck. Highlander deck's literally unplayable after the Helia play. It's just an auto-concede, yeah. Like, again, in, in, in previous... Back when the Steam Cleaner existed... You'd be like, okay, well, I'm not going to be able to activate it for a little while, but if I draw Steam Cleaner or ETC or whatever, like, sure, I can potentially still pump up, or I can still destroy the cards in my deck and do something, right? I can do something kind of spicy. But now it just feels so bad. This is good. I've got enough armor to not die or really be too worried here. They have spent 10 corpses with Ma and Paul, which sucks, but it's okay. I just think that cards that in like single-handedly like destroy your deck feels really bad. Not like the Wheel of Death, which literally destroys your deck, but just a, a counter card that you can't beat in any way. Like they play one card, you just lose it. Oh, that's so gross, dude. Do I have to play Sanitize here? I don't want to, but I might have to. One more death can't hurt. Okay. Yeah. It's not like an insane board, but it is beefy, and I don't really want to deal with it anymore and let them gain and spend more corpses. I think it's worth it to just do this and then play a Chaotic Tendril. Unfortunately, Bladestorm doesn't work because of these things, so... Is it Sanitize? Could be a Tendril first to just see what happens, but I don't think anything that costs two mana really changes what I do here. Could be Brawl. But I'd rather just wipe the slate clean and then play this and see what the two are. Oh, okay. Well, that's not great, but this is kind of cool. It draws me a card, I like that. We'll gain more armor with this. We still got Reno, we still have Brawl. We still have an Aftershocks for a smaller board and a Bladestorm, I feel okay. Yeah, I just don't want to waste Sanitize in case they can play bigger minions because they're not going the deck that I thought they were going, right? They're going a different deck. <laughs> Bladestorm seems fine here. Unless I want to just tank 15 damage for some reason. Which I don't hate. Because I want to get the Tendril and I want to get the other thing and then I want to play the Tendril. But if I play this, I can't play Bladestorm. Doing this empties out a card space in my hand and limits the damage I take by 5, which I think is worth it. I don't love it, but I think it's fine. Also, my fiance got this new soap in our shower, and I put my hand like to my face while I'm thinking sometimes, and I gotta tell you, it smells wonderful. It's not super important, but it smells amazing. I like that. No! Honestly, not bad. Gains me six armor. 
I mean, it's, it's a little sad that I'm not gonna gain armor off of this card anymore, but it's not like the biggest deal in the world. Let's freaking go! I mean, it's not really that big of a deal. I'm still gonna take a lot of damage. I'm trying to think, is it even worth it to play Reno at this point? I'm starting to think that it's not. I don't think I care. Now he has to think, do I want to kill the 1-3 or do I want to kill the 4-4? Four, four? Either way, the 10-5 um, the, the dies next turn. I don't need to play Reno. I don't want to execute it with Gift because I want, again, because they played the lesser Spellstone, I think they're going to have a pretty decent insight. Oh. Oh, well, that's just wonderful. I get to wipe it with the Aftershocks anyway. I can't hear you. Aftershocks. This is awkward. My hand is too full to play this. And I don't really want to draw that many more cards, but it looks like that's the direction that I'm going. <laughs> Just gaining armor, trying to thin out my hand a little bit so I can play the Eye of Chaos next turn. No Zola too is a little bit sad. Ah! Wait, no, it's fine. I can kill that with Shield Slam. Girlfriend Soap is one of the best perks. Dude, okay, look. That's so true. I absolutely love some of the soap. That you, some of it's a little bit weird and I'll admit a little bit overpriced, but some of it is like solid. It is it is solidly priced. It smells amazing. And I'm like, I can get used to this. I mean, to be fair, I'm obviously used to it. I uh, She's my fiance. I've, I've been with her for years at this point. I don't know if Reno is necessarily correct here. I feel like there are possibly bigger boards that I need to Reno, and if I'm just gonna shield slam this anyway, does it really matter? What next? I know that there are gonna be bigger boards that I'm gonna have to deal with, so. This, this. Is fun. Actually, technically we should draw a card first. Acolyte of Pain doesn't really change anything. Shield Slam. Trial by Fire. Is it one, two, three, four? It lives with one. Then this lives with one. This lives with one. This goes face. And I get to push a little bit of face damage, which isn't bad. Without plagues, no counter for Bran. That's why we need plagues. I'm not saying we don't need plagues. I'm saying if you have plagues, right, you need to have a way to balance out those plagues so that way Highlander decks can play the game. Because it's not just Bran. There's Highlander Paladin. There's Highlander Hunter. There's Highlander um, Priest. There's Highlander, I forgot what the other one is, Druid. All of which are not as strong as Highlander uh, Warrior is right now, to be fair. Actually, Highlander Hunter might be. But the fact is, like, Helia? single-handedly counters an entire archetype of decks, which multiple classes would want to use. You can play Helia after they, um, your opponent plays the wheel with the Warlock deck to make them draw that over and over and over again, which is in its own right a counterplay, which is, which is good, don't get me wrong. But like, without a Steam Cleaner to potentially counter that counter, if I'm a Highlander deck and they play, he like, in this matchup, right, if they played Helia, and then they played one card that shuffles one extra plague into my deck. I just concede. There's literally no way that I can win. And that is a very, very toxic way to like design a game. We're gonna play this not for card draw because we've already we're already down to our last eight cards. And I would like to do that also so I can empty out some space so I can play the tendril and get those four cards that way. Um we've got Zola, so we can get extra tendrils. We've got Geppetto as well, which is nice. Technically, I think I should have attacked first because something like that could happen. That was that was kind of bad. Light bomb's nice though. Seven eight, and then oh, it's gonna be skirt. Oh, that sucks. But it's okay. We can play this, this Zola, and then two more next turn, and possibly even just win the game next turn. I don't know. If they summon a giant board where I have to play Reno, I can do that as well. I think Helia is bad. You should have seen the first set of Magic the Gathering. They had a card that literally just said, if you have this card, your opponent can't play cards from the new set. That sounds awful. 
This is why I don't play Magic the Gathering. Actually, I used to. I used to play Draft, and I think Draft was such a fun format. Draft was so awesome. You'd go over Friday night, you get your three packs, you'd pick a card, you'd pass it to the left, and then right, and then left, and you'd build a deck based on all of the cards that they randomly gave you. Basically like Arena, but with more people, and you have to like figure out what other people are going so you don't pick the same thing. Like in the the one-to-one -one comparison is like if you're in an arena and you're picking cards, but if other people in your like pool of people are also playing your class, let's say I pick warrior. If somebody else is going warrior cards and they're picking warrior cards, I need to like predict that and adjust the cards I take accordingly. It was just, it was super fun. It was always super duper fun. Um, but yeah, I'll, I'll admit, uh, I don't play competitive horse, uh, Magic the Gathering because I do think there are a lot of very dumb, just stupid powerful cards for no reason. Uh, I'm gonna play this and then hopefully play Zola on it, but if it plays the Scourge, I'll just play the weapon and hit him in the face and gain some armor, it's fine. It looks like it plays the Scourge, which is fine. That's nice, we do a good chunk of damage. Uh, boom. Boom, just gain some armor, hit him in the face a couple of times. It's no big deal. You could overdraw plagues, but that's very hard objective. No, yeah, I mean, yeah, you could in theory overdraw plagues. And like, if I already had Bran and Reno in my hand, then maybe that's something I could play around, but I could also still burn my own cards, which feels really, really bad as well. I just think that in a game like Hearthstone where it's so linear and you can't mechanically outplay your opponent. I mean, to be fair, if you're playing like a combo rogue deck where you have to play like 27 cards in one turn for you to win, maybe that's considered a mechanical outplay. But like in 98% of situations where you cannot mechanically outplay your opponent in any way, you need to have a, a, a way to counter the play that they're doing. Right, because if you don't, it's just completely rock, paper, scissors. Why even play a matchup like this if they have Helia? Right, they play Helia, they play one other card, I just insta-concede, go next. Like, yeah, it saves time, but it feels bad to play against. And I don't think it's very good game design. Time is against me. But, I don't know, that's just my own thought process. Um, it doesn't die, I steal the Hollow Hound. Actually, him leaving my board up. Kind of genius. He could honestly leave this board up. And I can't really play that many things. I might low-key brawl my own board here. I'm not even kidding. I've still got Reno for a big board wipe. I brawl my own board so I can play the Tendril and then play Zola to get more things. That's a pretty nice card to have gotten, by the way. Boom, and then Zola to get two more. And then I guess you can play this guy. It's not a bad thing. We might be one damage off of lethal here. We're one da- Well, we'll see if we get the 6-7. Uh, it's Deathwing. It's not bad, don't get me wrong, but... Uh, I don't want to get board locked, so I won't play him. There's no reason to. I think I should win here. I don't know if I missed out on a damage somewhere. But even if I did, I should be able to win the game next turn with two more tendrils, and then also I have chaos for even more tendrils, and then Geppetto for more da Like, this is hundreds of damage in my hand. Does Tony get rid of plagues? I mean, it switches the plagues for like a turn until they kill Tony, no? Uh, yikes. Even stealing this doesn't really matter. I just hit you in the face. Unless they have a way of healing up a ton or wiping more. Like, there's, I guess, I, I'm not going to count them out yet. I guess there's a world where they could win. They did steal the best minion. Another Hollow Hound hitting here to kill these off would be kind of cool. Okay. Okay. 
I mean, I'll just style on him with a Reno and then bop him in the face. It is time to end this. He just concedes, that's fair. Thank you for the sub, Mappa. Thing, thing, thing. Much appreciated. The priest card? Sick. I think the priest card's kind of cool. I have some issues with it, but... I played a game against this Death Knight that took 25 minutes. I don't think I need to play anymore. <laughs> Anhilda versus Lunara. Beware the turning tide. What's the um what's the event? And carry out our lady's will. Wait, how does Tony work then? Wait. How does Tony work again now? They did change him. I remember they- I, I know that they did change him, obviously. Oh, with a copy of your opponents. I guess that would get rid of plagues, but again, if they're also running duplicates, like, you get shit on. Um, I don't know if I want to necessarily keep this. I want to try to find Bran more than anything, I think, right? Even though this says it's got a high win rate when kept, it's only kept 24% of the time. Okay. So we want to play this to try to find the owl. Assuming it's the owl or maybe it's the um the other OTK. What's the other OTK? Wait, chat. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. You said there are two druid OTK. Oh, I could play this. It's fine. I don't really need to. What are the what are the OTKs for druid? I'm going to play this and then I'm going to play this next turn so I can draw two cards for um a little bit of mana into boop. pretty easy draw two cards we get the totem i like the totem quite a bit we got brand we're gonna coin him out on five i don't know what the other druid deck is because this is i think the second druid deck i've seen the entire expansion and i'm not kidding when i say that they've got the owl otk deck and that's the only one that i've seen complains about hell yet proceeds to play five one cost cards that do 10 damage each i mean yeah but it takes a while to get there and if they played hell yeah i would not have been able to do that regardless um, let's just continually gain armor here. So, I've played that deck before, and I know that they can do a lot of damage. So... No, they can just do a lot of damage. I'm not, Are they gonna get four attack? Okay, so they take four attack to kill my zero two, probably. Oh, so it could be the hero power one. Mind if I roll need? Oh, you're rolling need, I see. Wait, that means he's running a lot of other minions. This could very easily be a Highlander deck as well. Break it, you buy it. Break it, you buy it. If I coin out you, I can get double draw from the uh, Steam Guardian, which is what I'm waiting for. And then I want to play Dirty Rat and then Celestial Projectionist, Dirty Rat, Coin Sanitize. I literally can kill like his entire hand, which is very toxic, I realize. Oh, shit. Okay, that's actually really, really bad. I guess I won't wait another turn. We'll just play that. It's fine. Let's swarm you up. Stylish it, you That was kind of annoying. Mind if I roll need? So not Highlander. That's in that's good to know at least. I'm confused. I don't know what deck this is. I actually have n I I could not be more clueless. And people in the chat or people in the comments of the video are gonna be like, oh, it's obviously this deck. Bro, look, I've seen one Druid deck come like in total and I've played over a hundred games so far with this expansion and I've seen one or two Druid decks, both of which were the Owl OTK. If there's a new deck that's like hot on Twitter or you saw on, on, on somebody's stream, I haven't been paying attention. I just find my own decks and I just play them for fun. Oh, you're Jade. Oh! 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 
So I don't want to play Dirty Rat. Not even a little, not even a tiny little bit. Okay, no, that's fine. I'm okay with that. Adventure away! Sure. No, yeah. What does this do again? Your Jade displays of plus one, plus one this game. Adventure away! Yikes. If he plays a bunch of the same minion, Bladestorm could be very, very good, though. We'll do this. We've got to sanitize to wipe a board at some point. Uh, I'll forge that as well. It's technically more armor than this is if I were to hero power on that turn, so it doesn't really matter. Interesting. So they're just going to summon endless really big mini. Okay. No, okay. I'm si That's sick. I appreciate I can appreciate a deck like this. Oh. This is another reason why we need steam cleaner by the way. I mean obviously not because this deck's broken, but like again, there's no counterplay. To like I can't actively counterplay this. If that makes sense. One one one, two, three, four. No, it feels bad. I will want to save this for Brawl, I think. No, but then they just get endless minions. Damn. <sighs> Don't kill yourself. That's all I ask. Your max cost less. Sick, dude. My ma guys, guys, my max cost less. Awesome. Um, hopefully I don't draw too many cards here. I could Frostbolt to kill that first. Just to make sure I don't overdraw or anything. Yeah, let's just do that. And then we'll do this, and then we'll do this. I just don't want it to accidentally, like, spend my mana or kill- Oh my gosh. Hit their minion. Okay, you kill yourself, but at the on the bright side- Actually, maybe I shouldn't have hit their minion. Let's freaking go, baby! Oh, that's fine. I'm starting to feel like I need card draw. I'm starting to feel like I need to draw um ETC or Eye of Chaos or Fizzle. No gems. It's really Did you just draw that, or was that a card in your hand already? Oh, it was a quick drawn thing. Steam cleaner should be here, but also I don't. Like, one card counters multiple entire decks, and it fits an ETC. I mean... I guess. I mean, yeah, yeah, that's a fair point. Like, the argument of... Oh, well, this... Oh my gosh. Wait, no. All of my trial by fires just have plus attack. So this is fun, fair, and balanced. Oh no, yeah, this is sick, dude. I love it. Um, I guess I'll play Dirty Rat to pull out some minions. I don't know if it's necessarily good or not. Heck it, I'll do it. I don't know what's in his hand or in his deck. Oh, we well get to snipe Eonar. That's sick. What the heck are you? Oh, sick. Okay, so he loses like everything. So this is, how much, how do I want to do this? So it's... Boom, and then boom. Oh. I guess everything dies. Could I have traded that differently? N no, because I was one off regardless. No, I traded I traded wrong. No, that was wrong. That was wrong. That was wrong. I should have double traded into this. I counted wrong. I thought that with they died, I'd be able to kill Deathwing in one hit. It should have been hit Deathwing, hit Deathwing, hit Ian or hit Geppetto, hit Eonar. I keep a 5-5. Five five. That was my bad. No, I, I did that wrong. I thought that I had more damage. I, I, I counted wrong. I mean, it doesn't matter too much because, like, again, it comes down to the other things. But I, I was supposed to trade into the Deathwing twice first. It's not a big deal, though. Because, again, the, this matchup doesn't come down to a 5-5 five, five on the board. The matchup's going to come down to... Interesting. The matchup's going to come down to, essentially, like, do I get 
these things, right? Like, could be sanitize. I don't really want to sanitize here, though. It could just be hit and then play this to draw an extra card, play a weapon just to get it out of my hand. Definitely wasn't an optimal play. And if I had it, I guess I could have killed Greybow. Greybow, whatever his name is. But again, the, the matchup isn't decided by this. Like, it's not decided by 5-5. Five, five. I will admit, it, it's not correct. I, I should count better next time. I thought that I had enough damage, but it's fine. Whenever this is attacked, to draw a card. Yikes, dude. Yikes. We'll just play Eye of Chaos and then a bunch of tendrils. Like, it's not a big deal at all. We've already we already sniped all of his main win conditions, so I don't even think it really matters at this point, to be honest. Okay. Prismatic Beam's kind of cool. Useless into... That's really nice. And then we just play this, and they're just gonna concede, yeah. Um, I don't really want to play this deck anymore. I'm gonna go over to the, de uh, the Death Knight deck. Well... I can do that, it's fine. It'll be okay. You're just better, true. Wait, what event? This? Oh, I haven't I haven't done any of these. Oh no. That's all I wanted to see. I'll get these other ones later. Interesting. It's gonna take too long to unlock these. I'm gonna have to do it on my own at some point. Holy moly. Let's play the Death Knight deck with Helia. Literally the card you were just complaining about. Wait, do we know what the nerf is? Will serve me in death. Oh shit. We don't know what the nerfs are though. Right? Um, I mean, we'll keep Helia. I'll keep the Grimwalker because I think that there is a world where it will be quite beneficial um, to potentially kill off minions. I don't know if I necessarily need it, but it's a card that you would rather have than not have, I feel like, most of the time. And then the Headless Horseman is a bit slow, but I'm, I'll keep it. It's fine. I don't know. I just want to play the Headless Horseman. Also, can we just take a second to, to cringe at this? One, two, three, five, four. I don't know why. But every part of my body is cringing seeing the last two numbers in the wrong order. I am pissed off, okay? I am livid right now. I really wanted to see it one, two, three, four, five. Any problem. But yeah, we know all the cards that are gonna be nerfed. I just don't know how they're gonna be nerfed, right? Like Odin's getting nerfed. 
I can see that. I don't think right now he's that big of a problem, but if a lot of the other decks fall down a little bit and the meta slows, Odin will definitely be very powerful. I think it's more of a preventative nerf. Um, really? Just use more. The citadels we'll do that. Strong. This is fine. Acolyte of Death is not that important. We'll play Helia on four. It's fine. Um, Zilliax costing one less for each minion you play definitely does need to be nerfed. It's it's ridiculously strong. Um, Thrall's Gift, I'm a little bit surprised about. I mean, I kind of get it right because they do have a um they do get lightning bolt which can be a lot of value for for basically three so obviously there's some form. issue to it but like shaman kind of gets wrecked here by getting two other cards that are unintentionally nerfed like aftershocks i think aftershocks is a good card i don't think aftershocks needs to be nerfed because of how strong aggro is and even after you nerf this and then these two cards also i think hunter needs way more than just one nerf i think hunter is going to be absolutely rampant if they're only getting nerfed one time and their win rate is literally less than a percent behind paladin so i don't even know what they're doing right now they're just drawing a bunch of cards with the flash of lightning i don't think i really care too much about that but like with a with a with a deck like Hunter, which is very aggressive and revolves around death rattles, nerfing one of the best removals to counter that is very frustrating to me because it's already a really strong deck. Like I just I don't know. Spend a corpse to discover a card, sure. Cool beans, I'll do it. Why not? Um freezing their face. Do I want a second headless horseman? Would that be amazing? I don't know. But I I, I didn't I didn't realize that you could discover another headless horseman, so I feel like I should just take it. I'm not saying that it's necessarily right, but I'm saying for my current situation, I am very much happy with just doing that. Do I want to trade this? I mean I might as well. I'll I'll draw into something later, it's fine. I'm gonna play the headless horseman next turn because I do think he's awesome. Let's freaking go, baby! Get wrecked. I don't know. I don't know if anybody agrees with me on this. The oral lifesteal is what pisses me off the most. No, yeah, for sure. Like, there have been multiple times where I've actually been able to out-aggro the paladin early, and then they just full heal in one turn. I definitely do agree that the lifesteal is a problem here. I think that this card is also a problem. The one that gives Wind Fury and Divine Shield, it's just, it's too much damage from hand, especially with multiple charge minions, like the uh, South Sea Deckhand and Leroy Jenkins. The Tigress Plushie, I already said, should have been a four mana card to begin with, or maybe a three mana two, two. Honestly, it could be a three mana two, one, and still be good with all the pumps that they get, or just make it a four mana three, two. Hunter should probably have been nerfed one more time, but that's just me. I mean, if I shuffle two heads into my deck, I feel like that still worked. It's fine. It's fine. I just want to play the Headless Horseman. I should have played the non-golden one first. Ooh, they lost a card. That's pretty nice. They did play Flash of Lightning. I do think it's very likely that I die here. Yep, GG, well played. Damn. You are a worthy foe, as far as they go. Yeah, this is awesome. They are nerfing Thrall's Gift, though, which makes sense because if they play Thrall's Gift for an, a Lightning Bolt... Actually, I don't know how you would nerf this card. Because, like, all of the gifts are one mana. Would you nerf it by making the cards in it different? Like, you can't get Lightning Bolt? Is that how you would nerf it? Go! Crash, crash, no. Lightning, Lightning would kill me. I guess crash, 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 lightning. They need three crashes. No, actually they don't. It's just, it's just that. Snake oil for two? Hold on. Lightning bolts zero. Do they have it? They have two damage from this. I'm still alive with one if I'm not mistaken. Oh shit, I'm actually still alive, that's crazy. What the hell? 
Um, okay, so... We're alive. But for how long? I mean, I can just kill the two spell damage minions, I guess. Hmm. Um, ooh. I like this card, but I don't think I can necessarily play it, but I do like it quite a bit. And then we'll just kill off this so they lose their spell damage and then maybe they draw something. They were close to killing me, but they did kind of blow their load and they're overloaded quite a bit. I think I'm okay because they can't play Bloodlust this turn with Thrall's Gift. It's a temporary card. You're overloaded. That's why I didn't care. I didn't feel the need to wipe this board because, again, they were overloaded. They're going to lose Bloodlust, I'm assuming. It what They did take a Bloodlust because they goofed a little bit. And now they don't have another Thrall's Gift because they've used both of them. So now I can take this really, really slow if I wanted to. I won't, though. I'll, I'll, I'll clear the board probably like I should here. Boom. Um, then let's go this here. And then I guess we can draw a card, maybe. If they had another Thrall's Gift, I'd be like, oh, shoot, we should probably kill off a minion. But I feel relatively okay about this. What other things could they do to pump up their minions? I guess they can give them all plus two plus three. I guess it's still worth it to kill the minion off. No, it's still it's still worth it to kill the minion off. I'll agree with that. I think it's still worth it. Does he read chat here? Uh, yes, I do read chat here. Usually. Sometimes there's a turn that I need to focus on or they're doing something crazy. Give a link that you just showed. I mean, it's just the Hearthstone. Uh, you can check it out on Hearthstone top decks. Wait. Have I, wait, did they actually say what the nerfs were? Was I on the wrong site? Hold on, I might've been on the wrong site. That might be the wrong link. Uh, let me think here. I do want to kill off this. I can play this and maybe get some sort of healing maybe. Corpse explosion, Ma and Paw. Uh, plus two, plus three would give them six damage, and then they need seven. If I do this, they need nine. One spell damage plus double lightning bolt could theoretically kill me, or lightning bolt crash. But I do also just think this card's better, but I'm gonna do that. I think it's better to play around everything that I possibly can, because I do think that long term I should be fine this game. At this point. No, yeah, Hearthstone just teased what the balance changes will be. They didn't actually say anything. So we're fine. We'll kill this off as well. Hopefully they don't kill off the 2-8. Oh my gosh, they are killing the 2 Oh shit! I forgot there's the spell damage totem now. Oh my gosh, that's kind of insane. I guess the spell damage totem might be more problematic. Headless Horseman number two. The hero power should actually refresh, which means I should be able to kill this off as well. If it doesn't refresh, then I just play this. Okay, it does. Bonk, bonk. Five more armor, not bad. We can trade this away next turn. They've got a lot of plagues in their deck. Hopefully they draw a couple. They've got, I think, three, four, five, six, seven, eight out of 19 cards. They've drawn one so far, but it was a healing one, which actually was very, um, did I not just send the link? I just sent it. Oh, the, the chat had frozen, my bad. That feels good. What's wrong with Zilliax? What? Um, the main issue with Zilliax is this particular module right here that says cost one less for each minion in play. Because Hunter's able to play so many minions for so cheap. You can, in theory, play the, um, the four mana card that gives you six 1-1 one, one beasts. Like, you could play that and the module, theoretically, in one turn, on turn, um, 
like five or six or something and just completely overwhelmed the board. Wait, they drew a plague. When did that happen? Oh, off of the uh, flash of lightning. Fair enough. Okay. Like to hit here with this. This goes here. This goes here. Draw card first. See what we get. This goes here. This goes here. This goes here. I guess I technically should have traded first. That would have that could have changed what I did. And it doesn't really change what I do. Let's go, Frostplague OP. It's only one module because that module is very easily exploited. Oh, we healed. That's awesome. I don't think that they can kill me anymore with three cards in their hands. I just don't think that it's possible. Even with the lightning reflexes, it would be hard. Bet they w kill Warrior for another year. I mean, they're not nerfing Bran. And they're not nerfing Reno. So the warrior deck that I just played earlier today is still pretty good. I went four and one with it. Games are definitely long, but the win rate's solid. And the only game I lost was against a plague death knight because they played Helia plus other plagues. And then I just insta conceded. So like, I, I still think Warrior will be fine because of Bran. I guess it depends on the speed of the meta and Aftershocks. Although Aftershocks is probably, it's worse than Sanitize. It's worse than Brawl slightly in some situations, especially with hand buffs. Three damage is oftentimes not enough. It is still very good. Don't get me wrong. And the Aftershocks nerf is, is definitely going to be very punishing. But I do think that Warrior will be fine. I mean, Odin Warrior isn't even that good right now. What does Soul Stealer do? It's basically a twisting nether that also is a 5-5 five, five body for your board. The Lich King! Okay, Lich King versus Lich King. I do like seeing Helia. I don't know if I want the Sickly Grimwalker. I feel like there are better cards, but I do like you and I do like you. So we'll keep both of them. This matchup is apparently not good for me. I don't even know if I like Double Dirty Rat. We'll see though. We will see. It could be a mirror match, which would be kind of bad to have two Dirty Rats in my hand. Although, any problem. I coin Helia, they play Helia, and then it just comes down to luck of the draw. Frost Strike? Okay, no, they're going the rainbow version, which means maybe I can get rid of Reska early. So the version they're going, I predict, is this one. I should have gone face. I don't think it really matters, though. I predict is this one. So their win condition is going to be the explosion, which I can't get rid of. Primus, which I can't get rid of. I run Primus, right? Okay, good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. ETC, which is maybe important. I like Helio. I like pointing her out. It just gets them into their deck one turn sooner, and they're probably going to draw a lot of cards. They probably play Helia here, though, so. Unfortunate. Oh! Okay. I guess maybe I could have waited, but the problem is I would have had nothing to do, but then I have nothing to do this turn either, to be fair. Trade. Boom, hero power, slap him in the face. I would like to play the Headless Horseman as early as I can. What the flying fuck is this? Two signature legendaries and five golden packs for $50?! What is this? This cannot be- that cannot be worth it. There's no way! 50 fucking dollars?! What the heck is that?! Oh, 
Ties and ha and no hands said that even a 10 mana Odin would be fine. Oh yeah, I agree. I think Odin because of his ability, if if he's playable on turn like if you can play him on turn 10, it'll be good regardless, right? Um, let's see what I discover here. Do I care about just getting corpses? I mean, heck it, sure, we'll just do that. We'll have a weapon so we're able to kill off that minion, keep my minion on the board. It's not a big deal, but it's something nonetheless. We can play Headless Horseman if he freezes my face. Headless Horseman unfreezes me so I can hit a minion maybe, potentially. Roar to buy it, look man. You're right, he would for sure. Not really much to do. Throw that away. Mmm, I wish I could play you. Budge, dude, that's so tilting. Pass for now. Not really much to actually do here. I don't want to play this to kill nothing. I just feel like that's bad. I feel like optimally it would be like Dirty Rat into this on turn 8 to pull out a minion and then kill it. But he could just play the Primus, in which case I would just kill the Primus with it. You're a jerk. He's a jerk. Corpse Explosion is fine here. I'm trying to think if I want to actually do it. Dirty Rat Corpse Explosion feels good to me. Could be Primus. Huh? Still kills it. We can go Dirty Rat into Headless Horseman next turn as well. That will kill the board though. That is nice. I like that. Unfortunately, we did not hit Primus. And if he plays the Primus, I'm going to be very big sad. No! He got the Primus? Ugh. It's a little bit gross. It's a little bit gross. Just a little bit. Just a tad. He top decked it though, so I wouldn't have sniped it anyway. I'm kind of happy about that. I'm kind of happy knowing that I would have died regardless, I guess. I don't want to play Dirty Rat just yet. We will then do this to kill off the 3-3. Three, three. Eh, it's fine. Most, I just played the Warrior deck. You can rewind in the stream if you want to see it. Oh. No! What are you doing, man? What are you doing? Oh, that's rude. Oh, that sucks. I'm taking a lot of damage. How many corp- I don't think he spent that many corpses. Dude! Fucking wild! Oh, this hurts. This sucks, but actually, technically, I should have just drawn first. Oh man, that was a poor ordering mistake. That is an oops. I do like this card, but I can't really use it right now because I'm in such a bad position. Oh man. Well, that sucks. There goes my counterplay, but he's already played two of his biggest minions. I can't hit ETC, but it's still fine. No, I agree. I think that, um, I also personally think that Aftershocks should have stayed in tech. I think it's a perfectly fine card. Snake Oil's kind of useless. Ugh. Sure. Go 
got a reborn minion, unfortunately, but that could still be very good. I think I'm just dead. One more death I think I'm just dead, is the problem. Down with the ship is nice. I do like that. They could draw a thing, which would be nice, I guess. I was hoping to draw the head so I can discover a card, but... Eh. Play down with the ship. I'm pretty sure I'm dead, but they could draw a plague here and keep me alive. They're not gonna draw a plague. But again, they haven't spent, like, any corpses. They've spent six, so I don't think I'm dead here. I definitely do think I have some survivability and I have death strike, so maybe it's okay. Yikes. Oh, that's huge. Wait, what are you doing? You're getting... No. Oh, that's bad. If he wanted to, he could kill my 2-2 and just make me overdraw, which would be really bad. But I guess he's not going to do that. Don't overdraw the head, please. Or down with the ship. Overdraw one of my sickly Grimwalkers. Oh, shit. Oh wait, I'm gonna be frozen, so this doesn't even matter. I don't think corpses matter. This also doesn't really matter. I'll take this though. Oh, I can still trade this? Oh, I didn't know that. I'm pretty sure that I'm dead, but we'll see. I do like this weapon as well, but it's okay. I'm pretty sure it's just Chi Chi. There's nothing I can really do, which is fine. Like it happens. You have earned an eternity of torment. Yeah. Really? I instantly draw a plague? That's awesome, though. Lend me your bones! Oh, I can't even attack. I'm just dead. My bad. Well... They could draw some plagues. They could double draw a blood plague. They don't, unfortunately. How did I lose this matchup so hard? Like, if I had just gotten the crusher and I was able to heal 12, 16 HP, I would have been fine. But the weapons I got were just so shit. Womp womp. The Lich King versus Um, is this the priest deck that's just gonna take it? Kibler? Hold up, is he actually streaming? Is this the real Kibler? I'm not gonna look at the- I just wanna know if he's streaming. Wait, why can't I see him? Is he just playing for fun? No, he is playing. He just started streaming, it looks like. He's been streaming for 21 minutes. I didn't look at the cards, okay? He's going priest, though. Uh, I like Rune of Darkness, but I don't know if I want to necessarily keep Rune of Darkness. I feel like there are better cards that I can look for here. Also, in chat, nobody tell me, because there's people who do this and they think that it's, like, helpful or maybe funny. But don't go in and tell him 
Or say like, hey, it's Kibler. He's got this, this, and this in his hand, or this is the deck he's playing, or blah, 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 blah. Because I feel like it ruins the, um, it ruins the, it ruins the, 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 not immersion, but it ruins the, the authenticity of the game. I respect the game too much, is what I'm trying to say. Uh, we'll play that. Gets me some nice corpses. Now I kind of wish that I had Runes of Darkness. I don't think Kibler's a friend of mine, unfortunately. Which makes me sad, because I've played against him actually quite a few times. Also, we're playing against people who have four digits in their legend again, or we're actually going crazy. He gets another copy of it, I would assume. I'll kill it though, it's fine. I don't necessarily need the sickly Grimwalker. I think that would be a waste. So that's... <sighs> There's a world where I don't play this. And I just hero power and I can go two, three, four, five, and I can keep this alive, which I don't hate. I'm actually gonna do that, I think. Because I can still just trade away the, uh, the, the snake oil as well. See if I can find anything. Not particularly good, but we'll go bonk, bonk, hero power, kill it off. This I think is fine. We get to go face with one, we get to keep a minion on the board with the death rattle, it's pretty nice. Kibler's old as hell? What the heck do you mean? Actually, I have no idea how old Kibler is. How old is he? He's 43? That's not even that, okay. Sure, that's almost double my age. But in the grand scheme of things, that's not even that. Oh, no. All right, how do I want to deal with this minion? I can hero power, kill it, play another mining casualties. I can play this. If I discover anything. I don't want them to get a copy of Pip and then play her again. So I do need to kill it. We're not going to play you. I'll discover a card, see what I get, and then it'll just be hero power bonk it a little bit. I do like corpse explosion quite a bit. That could be very, very good. Wait, is this overheal? Wait, shoot, chat, I don't remember how overheal works. How much damage am I about to take? Wait, actually, how much damage does it deal? Death strike kills that off, that's what we wanted to... Oh, because he got two of them. I'm like, what the heck just happened? Me being an idiot and all. Oh. Oh, this is spicy. Dude, he's drawing so many cards. Okay, look, Kibler, look at me. Listen to me. You need to chill. Chill the fuck out. Oh my God, this is one turn, sir. Oh my goodness gracious. Uh, it's been a singular turn. You have four mana, like you, you haven't even, you still have all of your mana? What do you mean? What is this deck? How is it legal? Oh my gosh. Oh my God. Dude, <laughs> this is turn four. He's drawn through half of his deck, man. Imagine if I had played Helly other turn before, though, would have gone crazy. You dishonor me. You dishonor yourself. You shall not Two can play at that game, Kibbler. Corpse explosion. <laughs> All right. I don't know if that was correct, but I would love to draw something playable. Oh, God. So, that, that was a turn. That was a Hearthstone turn for sure. If if I were to sum Hearthstone up in like a, mm. the problem is, wait, he gets to just take an extra. Oh no, because he gets to summon a bunch of like little shitter tiny dragons. Oh my gosh, he summons a bunch of little tiny dragons. And then he takes an extra turn with a bunch of the automatons and then I just die. Is that how this deck works? I don't know how it works. I'm going to be honest. I don't know what the heck I'm doing. I don't know what I'm doing. I just work here, man. I I just work here. 
I'm gonna play this and then mining casualties next turn and hope for the best, I guess. Water. Yeah, I think I would still rather kill off the automaton. Am I dumb for that? I'm trying to think which one's more valuable to kill. And I think it's still this, because this is the thing that can snowball. So I'm just going to do that. I don't I don't know if that was correct. I think that it was, though. Because I don't, again, I don't know this deck. I don't know how many copies of the astral automaton he can make out of nowhere. But my assumption is, oh, goodness gracious. All right. Do I want to go for a card draw as well? Okay, hold on, 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 hold on. Everybody shush. Oh. Uh, how many dragons has he summoned? He summoned three. This will be the fourth, and you need to summon five dragons. Can I hold out for a turn on the dragons? Death calls. Because he has the mini dragon in his hand, and we know this. We know this. Shit! Oh my gosh, I'm gonna lose. Cause he gets. To... That's so frustrating. Cause like I can't play this because I know he has the mini in his hand. I know he probably has at least one other minion in his hand. And this is his most expensive dragon, so this didn't even necessarily draw the other legendary, but he probably has it. Fuck. Okay, here's what we're gonna do. I hate it. I hate it here. It doesn't really matter what I hit. They, they they both die anyway. It doesn't matter. I'm just drawing cards and I'm hoping for the best. This this sucks. I love drawing snake oil. Technically it should have been the rune of darkness, but I panicked. I don't know what I don't know. He summoned four dragons, he summons the mini, and then he summons the other thing. And it's just ugh. What's your win rate against Kibler all time? I don't know. I don't know what my all time win rate against Kibler is. And we're not gonna start keeping track now because I think I'm gonna lose. It's like when I'm, um, it's like when you're playing basketball or just anything and you're like, how many shots can I make in a row? You always start the record on a win, right? So if I lose this game, it doesn't count. If I win, somebody else is gonna have to take care of the uh, keeping track thing. <laughs> Old Hearthstone Goat versus an upcoming Hearthstone Goat. I appreciate that. What the fuck? Wait. Oh, because he got a copy of... Oh. oh, no. Yeah, see, I knew that was going to happen. But I also knew he had multiple other minions in his hands. So this just... Oh. Do I just die? Is that lethal? Four... Then that's 13, 14, 15. I'm alive with seven. Which isn't the worst. They could overheal with their one guy and kill my board. It could also be overheal. This card's very annoying. Alright, the then you kill star. off the poisonous, sure. Oh. You're killing the draw one, which is interesting to me. Oh, you're killing both. That makes sense. And then they heal back up to full. I mean, if I top deck Corpse Explosion or Soul Stealer, I'm chilling. The problem is I have to top deck it. Okay, look, he can't play it for a turn, so I've got at least a turn. I guess Dirty Rat also could have sniped Ignis, and now what am I even hoping to snipe at this point? Like, nothing. <sighs> Shit. Um, okay, so... This gains me 7 HP. But I'm pretty sure I'm still dead anyway. I'm trying to think what the correct option here is. And the correct option is to, one, not kill this 1-1. One, one. Two. Uh, we didn't draw any of our removal. We have both of these in our deck, and we just can't play them. We also didn't draw Helia either. Into a deck that, like, exclusively draws cards, which really sucks. Like, if I had played Helia, I would have won this matchup easily. I think I have to do this, unfortunately. 
Am I st uh, I don't think I'm dead. I don't think it's worth killing the automaton. I don't think he has that many more copies. And this heals me the most HP right now, which is what I need. You're good. You could discover me a corpse explosion, so we'll take that if necessary. And I mean... There's no reason to kill the 1-1. One, one. I just take more damage for it. 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. A lot of damage. That is a lot of damage. The time potential. Poofing them from existence does suck. Um, it does play around Corpse Explosion. Ugh. <laughs> uh, okay. It no longer matters. If he has the five damage wind fury, I've already lost. Down with the ship? Fuck off, man. My blood, Give me, like, I run corpse explosion, right? I, I run these cards. And hell yeah, like five of the best cards in my deck I just didn't draw. Well, it doesn't matter. Please! <laughs> Draw me the fucking card! I don't even care! The one that I had, I had to randomly generate. Oh my gosh. I mean, well played, I guess. Well played. If he has something cool he wants to do, I'll let him do it. He's a creator. My torment is my and then he pumps everything. Oh, that's even worse. I still died to Ignis weapon there, so the a little bit unfortunate. Versus Taranda. Oh, I thought this was Kibler again. Imagine. Oh, will serve me in uh, death. there are a lot of way better cards. There are a lot of way better cards, I think. Snake oil's good. Dirty rats, eh? These are okay together as well. It's not like the worst thing in the world, but snake oil's really, really good. I basically want to just hard mulligan to find Helia. So that way, if they are going the deck that draws a bunch of cards, I can counter them by, well, making them draw plagues. What's the goal of this deck? The goal of this deck is basically just control. It's it's blood, it's blood death knight. It's control until they Can run out of cards. Hmm, <laughs> I'll play no, Miracle Salesman. My hope is- actually, could I ever coin out Acolyte of Death and then play this on three? Like, I could play this and then this. That way I have four draws to maybe get Helia. What are you- why would you not heal your minion, though? Yeah, you get to draw a card for free. The other argument is just- don't coin it out, so that way I can play this. But I really, really want to draw cards. Just I really want to draw sword. cards more than anything. To find Helia. So this is interesting, because like I could set up a bunch of card draw and try to play Helia on four, because I have down with the ship. And I don't think they really have that much removal. I'm going to do it. I'll hit this. The reason why I'm hitting that is so that way he can't just use his hero power to heal and immediately draw a card. So it doesn't it doesn't overheal. Like he could play the location and he can still set it up, but it requires more resources. And this way, I just don't think that he can kill the two four. That deck runs a lot of draw and a lot of like playing things. Mm hmm. We're gonna draw a bunch of cards here. That's that's literally the goal. We're hoping to draw Helia. We did not. 
But you know what? That's fine. At the end of the day, we didn't draw Helia. It's not that big of a deal. We did what we could. We tried our best. We'll play Dirty Rat in a turn or two to try to kill off a minion. I think I have to play Snake Oil so I don't overdraw, actually. Also, Corpse Explosion isn't bad. Heartthrob? What the fuck? Oh, no. Okay. We did top deck Helia. This ends up working out very nicely for me. I'll go face with this. You become a Helia. I don't think that Matt. Fuck, it does matter. Oh, it matters so much because he can make a copy and make me get Helia. Oh. Oh no, that could matter quite a bit. Let's deal a damage to that so that way you can't overheal as much. Oh goodness gracious. No. Even so, that deck draws more cards than me and I can put more plagues into his deck, but that's still a tilter for sure. I cannot believe that I forgot about that card. Oh no. I mean, if he overheals this more, I can just go Corpse Explosion. Like, it's not that big of a deal, but it is still kind of wild. I'm very glad that I decided to draw four cards now then, because I actually got Helia on curve. It was kind of a smart play, if you think about it. He's going to overheal all over you? No, it's fine. Got any tips for someone stuck in Diamond 5, Diamond 3? Play the best decks in the game. I need to find a new game. Just play the best decks in the game. That's literally all I can really say. <laughs> The best decks in the game are the best decks in the game for a reason. If you want to, like, get to Legend, I would do that. And then you can focus on having fun and doing different stuff. But for no now, reprieve. just focus on uh, what wins games. I think that was an important removal, though. The fact that he used both of the bandages means that there's a lot less direct damage coming. So that's really annoying. Um, sure. Runes of Darkness, we'll see if we get the, um, oh wait, I only have, hmm. I'll play one. We'll shuffle more plagues into his deck. My blood. What this is fine, me? I don't know, it's, your health changed cost health instead of mana. It probably will change at some point because I got plagues and stuff and I have healing. So I'll take this so I can play it for free at some point. I wasn't able to get the um the added effect though, unfortunately, of getting plus one plus one, but I don't think that matters too much. I couldn't really play Dirty Rat and try to pull out a minion because I couldn't kill the minion because it's got eight HP and then the other one has seven HP. So since I couldn't kill it, it's not really worth playing Dirty Rat, but I want to play Dirty Rat soon. Heartthrob again? You. You're kidding me, man. This one's for you. That was the end of your turn. Soul Stealer's interesting. Can't really play it now, but I can play in a bit. Let's just heal. You become free, which is fine. This isn't real. Shall suffer. Technically should have drawn first or traded first, but you know what? We're good players. We draw last. If I've learned anything from my um expansion series with Rarin, it's that drawing last leads to better RNG and better moments. Better clip moments. So no, it's 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 not. It's it's kinda dumb. Light sings and the impure fall. Wait, actually I have this this hero power to kill whatever minion I want, so I guess it's fine. Okay, I'm fine with this. Brilliant! That feels good. Brilliant! That feels good. Yeah, I should probably play the card Dirty Rat sooner rather than later. Because I think he can probably OTK me soon, but I also kinda wanna play Soul Stealer to get rid of this 2-2 two -two stealth minion. Get wrecked. Brilliant. I think I do just play this actually. I'm assuming he has at least a good minion in his hand. Let's give you some extra time. It is finished. You win. Alright, he had a good minion in his hand. 
But also, what dragon? You haven't played a single dragon that entire game. What? Played your pet a tentacle dragon priest for the quest. It was silly. It was fun. I went seven and three with it. In legend? Wait, that's kind of crazy. You might be the best player. The Lich King versus Justice Jaina! I'll shoot you dead, like I should have long ago. All will serve me in death. Against a mage? I kind of want to just hard look for Helia here. Do I even care about this? I feel like I don't. I think I want a hard search for Helia. I mean, this could still be good to kill off an early minion. I'll keep it. It's got a decent kept rate and a good win rate when kept, but I do still think that it would have been better to find Helia. This turn two, this turn three. Possibly this turn three, because it'll draw me more cards immediately, but we'll see. If I have to play Helia on turn... um, If I have to play Helia on turn five, it's still okay. It's kind of bad, but it's not the worst thing. Okay. Sure, I'm okay with that as well. I'm gonna play you this turn. I think it's just better to play that and go face. Sure. I'm still looking for Helia. To be fair, Helia could be at like the very bottom of the deck. Oh! Oh, that's really good for him. Okay, what are you playing for two? Max? Not maxitude, or infinitize the maxitude, okay. Kill that off, draws me a card, nice, I like to see it. Sure. I do like you, you're pretty good. We can play one of you and then hero power. We can play one of you and play this as well if we need to. I do like runes of darkness. I would like to generate another corpse. I don't think playing this or this is necessarily correct. This gives me another corpse to play the Hematurge next turn, maybe. Tentacle Dragon Priest, great fun to play. Wait, but why? Oh, I guess you can copy one drops. Oh, you're just gonna, oh, okay. All right, bet. Give me the plague one, please. Okay, cool. We'll just start putting plagues into his deck. It doesn't really matter too much to me. My blood Let's see what this gives me. Um, I like death strike. Could be healing, could be removal. Put plagues into his deck. It's not bad. Doing some good damage to him. I'm assuming it's like a rainbow Sif mage. Because he's played Arcane, he's played uh, Fire, he's got another school potentially, Shadow now. Hmm. Okay. Could be an Ice Barrier to stall out some time. What are you doing for one mana? Okay. Sure, sure, sure. I'm actually okay with that. Let's just put plagues into his deck and pass. I think that's worth it. I think that's fine. More plagues, the better. If he wants to play another counter spell for three mana, I can bait it out with a one mana spell. It's not a big deal. Sure. I'm okay with that. Also okay with that, 100%. Sure. 
That's really good. That's really, really good, actually. That completely affects his ability to play the game. Unfortunately, we didn't have Helia first, but I think that's okay. How much damage can I do here? Not quite, seven, not quite enough to win. Okay, they're just gonna concede because they drew true Frost Blakes. And I would have killed it this turn anyway with maybe this or this. We were fine. Good evening, all, good evening. Hey, Pavel, how's it going? Hip synchronized protocol, Geppetto. Yeah, you can replace Stitch pretty easily, I would say. Two mages back to back? What is this? My lucky day? Get rid of the sickly Grimwalker. I don't think it's very useful in this particular matchup, but we need draw. Good tempo. This is good. If we can draw Helia, that would make it even better, though. How's your day going? Also, um, have you played Three Rune Discover Death Knight? What's Three Rune Discover Death Knight? What does that mean? Don't have Do some sludge. Oh. Oh. This was unexpected. This is a this is an interesting little turn of events. Okay. I mean, I guess it's a spell school. I just didn't think they'd be playing. Okay, no, it's fine. It's fine. Where do you guys hear about these? How do you guys hear about these decks before I do? You're like, have you have you heard about this deck yet? Have you played this deck yet? I haven't even heard of it, let alone played it. <laughs> How many streams are you guys watching? First of all, I feel a little bit betrayed. You should be only watching my streams. If I haven't played a deck yet, you guys shouldn't even know about it. But second of all, my goodness, I do this for, for a living and you already know all these decks. It's a rainbow, but discover, if you want to link it, it's very good versus paladins and warriors. Interesting. I don't know if links work in this chat for some reason. I thought I enabled it, but I guess not. But I, I'll take a look at it. All right. I mean, he uses a whole three mana sludge to do that. Like, that's such a weak turn. I would like to play this, and I would like to get the, um... The plague weapon, if you don't mind. I would like to get the plague weapon, if you don't mind. Probably primordial. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He wants a new card. Fair enough. I only watch your Hearthstone streams. Thank you. I appreciate it. I don't feel as betrayed anymore. Here it comes. It's the plague one. We really do want the plague one in this matchup, though, to be fair. I mean, it's a four attack weapon. It is a four attack weapon. I'm trying to think if I ever want to just coin it out and start bopping him in the face. The answer is not really. I would have loved it, but I can't really do that. I want to save the coin. I don't know what big play I'll need to make, but I feel like coining it out to just do four damage is not super great. Especially if I'm not even healing. Like, I'd like to not... I'd like to heal with it, if anything. That's nice. To battle. I say resolve. We'll use coin to bait this out, whatever it is. It's not counterspell either. Interesting. Because I don't want to play the Azrite Vade because I just drew this, which means he could potentially get a copy. I guess I should have played Snake Oil first to bait out counterspell. I forgot I had the Snake Oil in my hand. That was a bit bad. Um. I guess weapon plus down with the ship. I mean, I guess it could be Headless Horseman, and then we can just hero power him every turn if we get the opportunity to. And it gains me some HP. Yeah, I'm okay with that. I don't love it, but it's fine. I don't know. If it was, it just if it was Azrite Vein, it would have sucked, basically. What's your current rank? It's like ten thousand. Yeah, no, no. 
kind of wish I had killed it. I kind of wish I had, I had killed it, but it's fine. You want to cast a spell? I think I can just go face. I don't think it really even matters at this point. I think I just pressure his face and hopefully I can win. If not, I mean, I can play Corpse Explosion next turn if he fills the board with the seven mana, summon a bunch of minions card. Actually, no, I can't. No, I still can, I still can. They're four fives, but I can use my uh, my hero power to summon a, an extra minion or two. No, yeah, it's fine. This will live, unfortunately, but that's the only one minion will live. Holy fuck, wait, I don't have the hero power anymore. Oh. My god, I don't have the hero power anymore. To generate. I thought I was fine. Holy shit, I just lost. Holy shit, I just lost. Um I was also hoping to get the poisonous fucking minion and I didn't get that either. Death strike. One, two. I mean I have to kill this minion off one hundred percent, right? Holy shit. I forgot that this hero power isn't a corpse. And I didn't have the poison. Holy shit. I even knew exactly what card he was going to play. I just thought I had an answer. I think I lose after that, actually. No, I think I think that's GG. I, I legitimately think he just plays Sif and I'm dead here. That's really bad. If I'd had mining casualties, it also would've been fine. I mean, I heal up to 11. That doesn't do anything. I didn't have enough corpses last turn, that's crazy. Could be explosive runes, I don't really want to play a minion. I'm one damage off lethal. How can I get lethal? I'm one damage off next turn as well. Wow. I guess I probably died next turn anyway because of this regardless. Because it only costs one mana. I think I would have died regardless to be fair. I, w I was dead regardless. It didn't actually matter what I did because he also had Sif. But I guess because of that, I couldn't play Dirty Rat. Fuck me, dude. Oh. Literally, if I had had... Oh my gosh, why did I play him? Playing him was the biggest mistake of my career. Not really, but it, it was really bad. It was stupid. Fuck. Because then on turn eight, I could have played Dirty Rat plus the... There are a lot of different things I could have done. A lot of different things I should have done. The Lich King versus Nemzi. Let's have some fun. <laughs> oh, will serve me. No, Brand's Death. not going to that. Um, we already know what the nerfs are going to be too. We already know what the nerf's gonna be. Um, Bran is not one of the cards getting nerfed. I do like the one drop. Headless Horseman seems not great, 
I'm trying to think if it's correct to keep it here. No, I think they're better cards. Maybe if I can get Helia, but I also want to play Helia after they play the wheel. So, I think... Yeah, I think I want to play Helia and the Plagues after they play the wheel, because you already know that they're going to try to play it. Solves any problem. Also, Sickly Grimwalker to potentially deal with some big 7-7 rushes or taunts or whatever is pretty good. This does play into Defile, but I don't think I'm really going to commit that much more to the board. So if he plays a Defile on this board, I'm actually okay with it. Why does YouTube say most fun warrior deck if you're playing Death Knight? If you rewind in the stream, you'll see that I was playing a, um... I'm playing a different deck. I was playing a warrior deck. They're trying a lot of cards. The question is, do I want to play Helia next turn? The reason why I don't really want to play it is because if they're going the wheel... Oh, that's really good for them. Oh, that's really good. Damn. If I play that and then they play the wheel, I could just lose. But I still think I play it because it does still make them infinite. So if they play the wheel, I can, if I draw like a down with the ship, it's still a win condition. And if they draw them on these couple of other turns, it could be impactful as well. If I had a different play, maybe I would have played it, but it's not ideal. We'll play the Chill Fallen Baron. Basically, at this point, what we're trying to find... Oh, shit. That's really bad as well. That's really bad. I take eight damage for this. Shit. I have to kill the 8-8. Eight eight. Most likely this 2-4 dies, but like, what else am I supposed to do here, man? I, I have to do it, or else I'm gonna die. We'll play this next turn, which is pretty cool, and then turn 7's a bit awkward. If this 2-4 lives, I'm gonna lose my mind. Okay, yeah, it dies. But that makes sense, I'm fine with that. I just couldn't deal with an 8-8 eight eight taunt minion. Like, I didn't want to take an insane amount of damage every turn, basically. This minion will summon me a bunch of stuff. If he reverbs it, oh, it's so frustrating. Each turn this in your hand doesn't do anything. Wait, what does it say exactly? Summon it? Okay, so we just want to take the biggest stats, I think. Biggest stats. Biggest stats, I guess. They could play Doomkin possibly this turn, which would be frustrating, but not like the biggest deal in the world. No? Okay. Oh, they draw a plague. They don't take damage from it, but it is still uh, impressive. I'm okay with that. I can kill that no problem. Let me draw a card first. Do I ever just do this? No, 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 no. It's just hero power hit, and then we'll trade this. It's a good card, but... This goes uh, here, here, four damage. This isn't bad. I don't mind this at all. Wheel of Death comes down next turn. Plus the, the other card? Yeah. Okay, I'm cool with that. I don't want to play the Primus until after he's played the wheel because he's going to summon the 1515 and then I want to eat the 1515 with the Primus. One. I'll draw two cards off of this. But it'll also live, which isn't terrible. One more death can't hurt. I don't want to commit the other Grimwalker, though. Actually, I'll draw another card because of you, actually. I guess technically I could have done that first. Let's go, Space. If I play this... It's actually not bad. Let's actually do that. Probably wondering why I did that, and it's because if he kills off my board, I'll overdraw, but by playing that, I will no longer overdraw. I've got a lot of corpses for corpse explosion, potentially, but I'd rather also just heal fit. Yeah, it's fine. I don't really mind that too much. 
Because like I said, I play that so I wouldn't overdraw, but I did want to draw cards actively. I really wanted to draw cards there. Because I'm still trying to find down with the ship. That's a very, very important card oh, for me to get. Table flips flying, summons me a little 1-3. Uh, Not a big deal. I have plenty of, um, well, dirty rap first, and then we'll play this. Well, that's what I wanted to play the Primus on, but I guess I'll just kill it with the Headless Horseman. If you're giving me that opportunity, fine. I'll do it. I won't be upset by it. But yeah, I wanted to use the Primus on that, but like... Oh, shit. I would have rather pulled Sargeras. I'll be honest with you. That's definitely frustrating. I don't know if I can win this game now, to be honest. Well, that's really nice. Well, that's really nice, actually. That's... Actually, I'm pretty pissed off. I'm not gonna lie. That I missed Sargeras. I'll gain 12 HP, though. Like, it's definitely still fine. It's just kind of a bummer. Take another Headless Horseman. Um, and then we'll discover a minion and then hit there. Ah, you're good, actually. No, I'll take you. Break it, you buy it. I just need to start dumping cards from my hand. You can probably kill this. There's Siphon Soul. There's Reverb. Fuck off, dude. Is it just Corpse Explosion or is it Soul Stealer? I think it's Corpse Explosion because he's gonna summon... Wait, what? Why would you do that? Frost. Spell damage? I don't think that matters at all. It's probably just gonna be... I, well, now it's Soul Stealer, I think. Uh, Yeah, I think it has to be Soul Stealer. That minion is too big. Holy shit, that is a 721. That was actually a really good card. I was hoping to overdraw something else. I mean, Corpse Explosion gets rid of all of my corpses, but it gives me more space in my hand. No, I'll just eat everything. It's fine. I don't really want to commit down with the ship yet. Because again, he could play the wheel, and I want to play this to counter the wheel later. I guess what I could have done also was this plus this. Which was maybe better. Another down of the ship is good, but again, I want to hold on to it. I guess maybe I should have done the other play, because then I could have also discovered a card. No, that's my fault. I played that poorly. Because now I'm just going to play it, but I end up losing value from it. No, yeah, the, the other play was definitely better. No, yeah, it definitely would have been better to make the other play. Um, I'll take... Draw Frostbell, no. Excavate at cost zero could be interesting. Let's do that then. Job's done. It's not insane, but it still puts more stuff into his deck, which could potentially kill him. And we still have another down with the ship, so as long as we have one, I feel like we're fine. Top decked the wheel, destroys my deck. <laughs> uh. That's fucked. All right, I mean, it's a 6-6. Six, six. I can kill him in a couple of turns as long as he doesn't heal up an insane amount. I've got plenty of damage to do it. Do you mean anything that can do damage? No.
I guess Corpse Explosion plays around the Reborn. I have three mana left. I'll beat them all. And they will fall. Yeah. Yeah. One Empty my hand, just play a minion. If he got deal six, heal six, that's bad. Other than that, I think it's decent, but well, looking for a stand up? Careful. It's against me. Armor! Armor! I'm actually gonna lose. Fuck this, dude. There's no way I'm actually gonna lose this game, right? Please give me the plague one. Oh, you're so stupid. Duh. Sure, whatever. We'll just start trying to smack him in the face, I guess. I don't really care if I take damage. I need to spend four mana. And then I can discover two spells, but I also need to push damage every turn. I'll beat them all, and they will fall. Well, we'll push damage every turn that we can. Reska's pretty good, actually. Aren't you zero? You are zero. I can steal a minion, but it doesn't really matter. Okay, we'll do that. We'll do this. So hopefully we can discover. Sure. Deal three is good. I, I just need stuff that can do damage to his face. I'm actually gonna lose, that's crazy. Sure, doesn't draw anything. It's close. If any of the excavate cards discover me damage, I win, right? If either of the excavate, wait. Yeah, if either of them discover me damage, I win. Damage? 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 I mean, two Reskas, that could actually be very beneficial. I could play double Reska, steal some of these minions, and then hit him with the weapon. It's possible. Is this the last turn that you didn't draw a plague either? Oh, fucking hell, dude. And he heals. Oh my god, he fucking heals. Are you kidding me? No shot. And then you gain armor. Are you fucking kidding me? If 
If he had drawn one plague in three turns, and it was a third of his fucking deck, I win. Just a plague, just one, just one plague at any point in the game. He had Helia, I, I shuffled in extra plagues, didn't fucking matter. The Lich King versus Morgul. Discovering damage. The rock would have been great. Um, the one two would have been great. The the three damage thing would have been great. I had so many opportunities to win it. I did misplay by playing Soul Stealer on that one turn. I could have discovered an extra card. Yeah. I guess that was my misplay. Whatever. Uh, I don't really want to keep any of these except the uh, Miracle Salesman because it's really good on turn one. pretty solid i'm assuming that they're either going to be highlander or they're going to be a combo deck and if i can make them you know draw a frost plague on a pivotal turn that could be really really important do i coin out Helia, yeah, or do i just play on curve because i have a good curve i think i just play that you don't pick the one it's fine um we'll kill that off we'll go bloop. we'll go bloop. and we'll bloop. enjoy warlock wheel it's gonna be the new meta. I don't necessarily think so. I mean, that game was very winnable. It just had to come down to like a lot of very unlucky things happening for me and a lot of pretty good things happening for them. Like just the way that they top decked the um, the symphonies in the right order to heal, barely stay alive and then do a bunch of different things. Like, oh, you're going aggressive. Okay, hold on. So do I coin out Helia or not? I don't think I need to. We can just draw and play this out normally. Crop rotation's not bad. But yeah, it, it, it was a bit unfortunate for sure. The way that they like drew the symphonies in the right order to give themselves a taunt minion when I had minions on board. Then they wiped my board and then healed six and dealt six to me. Whatever, that didn't matter. On the turn where I was, I like just top decked the direct damage I needed to kill him. If I, if I had drawn the damage in the reverse order, if I had drawn it the turn before, I would have went, like there's a whole bunch of things that could have happened obviously. Uh, we play Helia, we kill this, we go face. Now I'm trying to wonder what deck they're playing and if it's worth it to play Dirty Rat. I'm assuming they're gonna be running other spell damage minions. So if I can play Dirty Rat and snipe one of their spell damage minions, that would probably be good. I'm assuming they're going OTK. I missed a damage. Oh shit, did I miss a damage? That's my bad if I did. Oops. No, you're right. I think I did. I was I was ranting about the previous game. I was not fully paying attention. That's my fault. Mm. Do I want to draw four cards? I'll overdraw if I draw four cards is the problem. That way of killing minions usually. It's not as good as I was hoping. One, two. Well, that sucks actually. I mean, it's not the worst thing in the world, but it definitely is a bummer. No reprieve. I wouldn't have overdrawn. I could have played Snake Oil for zero. I was trying to snipe a spell damage minion though. I mean, I guess he gets to discover one less, which is fine. And I'll, I'll send this away now, but still kind of tilting. That was my bad. I had Snake Oil in my hand. I actually didn't need to overdraw. If I'd coined it out, I could have played that, that, that. No, I wouldn't have overdrawn just in general, right? Yeah, I, I I miscounted how many cards I had in my hand. I, I didn't count the fact that I'm playing these two cards and coin. And then I could play the snake oil. And it does 
doesn't matter. I think doing this to try to snipe a spell damage minion is still relevant because there's definitely a a um a world where they can OTK me in like a turn or two. So playing that's not bad. They did play Flash of Lightning, right? Which is why that costs zero. So like this is a turn they could have committed. I mean, I don't know. I think Dirty Rat to snipe a spell damage minion and kill it would have been good, considering Flash of Lightning means they could theoretically OTK me this turn. Or they could have. There's a world where it could have happened. Nature Shaman versus a value deck conceding is the only option. I don't necessarily think so. I mean, we put plagues into their deck, right? I mean, it doesn't seem like it's that big of a deal. And at the end of the day, it really is not a huge deal. But if they're not, you know, good at the deck, like it doesn't in the nicest way seem like they are. Um, I think I'm going to play this and then that. They haven't played a flash of lightning, so it's not like I'm going to die. We'll just go bonk, bonk, bonk. We don't care what a healing totem. Do I ever just play the coin so I don't overdraw? Yeah, I don't really need the coin at this point. I don't really care, to be honest. They all die. I go up to nine cards. They die at the end of the turn, though, which is problematic. The Primus can also gain me max, max HP, which is nice as well. But yeah, I don't think I get OTK'd this turn because no Flash of Lightning. Gain a little bit. Eh, no, I guess I could just die. Next spell you draw, okay. If you happen to draw a plague, that would be hilarious. All right, you're playing. Okay, I'm I'm fine with this actually. I'm down to just full trade and heal back up to full. We'll play in the Rarn series video. Look. Those videos are awesome, but I don't think we can ever say well played. I think I think we play pretty bad a lot of the time. I think we play pretty suboptimal most of the time. That's just me though. Really? Uh, okay, do I have to clear this? Still no flash of lightning, so I don't think I'm in a position to die. dead anyway might as well just do this heal back up to full kill these off do a damage to the healing totem doesn't really matter we're at full hp we can play the primus possibly next turn like if he plays gilgamesh or whatever not gilgamesh but the, the titan to draw some cards i can play the primus and heal up which is not bad uh i can play the headless horseman next turn as well to gain five armor to maybe get myself a little bit out of the range of dying I'm actually really sad that Vampiric Blood is not a card anymore because it's like now, because it used to be like Blood Death Knight with the Vampiric Blood and a couple of other things could counterplay combo decks if you gained enough HP. But now you don't really have a lot of opportunities to gain a lot of HP. Like you have Maw and Paw, which isn't terrible, but it's not really like that big of a deal either. They could just go Bloodlust here. They could just go Bloodlust here, which is not ideal. And I do want to kill off the 0-2. Let's see what this gives me first. Give me the one mana one. Ooh, you give me this one. Well, um... It's not great. I would rather get rid of the spell damage so I don't get OTK'd. That was really unfortunate, actually. Primus to gain 2 HP is useless. Also, I don't even know if that deck runs the Titan. I wish there was a rule for that series where each expansion you could spend some amount of dust, but that just that um takes away a little bit from the just opening packs and playing the games aspect of it. Like that's that's a big part of what makes it fun. 
Vampiric Blood being three runes kills the blood deck. I mean, I don't know. Corpse Explosions too. They made Soul Stealer go from three to two. I think they can make it a two rune card and we could have some fun. Cause I think three rune cards or three rune decks were always just too limiting anyway. So I think making it a two rune card, like yeah, it would be strong and maybe it gains four HP and then you can double it to eight HP and make it a two rune card. But like, Playing against something like a Sif Mage, playing against something like a um a nature shaman, playing against something like a spell damage druid, or an OTK from hand aggro paladin that double plays Leroy. Like there are a lot of instances where it just feels so bad. And I would absolutely love to have the opportunity to gain HP and not instantly die. But maybe I'm old school. I'd like to play this because I would like to have another thing on the board that I can that I can utilize Destroying it does specify an enemy minion too Which means I can't even play like a 5-5 five five for me and then kill it with the primus and heal that way Which super sucks You can't discover it because it would be way worse than more armor warrior cards and three blood vampiric Makes it way worse only two of them God it sucks wait what? Any chance you'll be doing your top 100 series again soon? Was good to see a deeper insight into the meta? Probably not. I don't really care about rank or anything. I mean, I don't know if you guys saw Clark Hellscream's video recently about like what it means to be high rank. He was going for competitive, um, competitive Hearthstone, but just in general climbing ranks, it just completely destroys your mental and your will to play. And it's so much more fun to just play a different variety of decks and play one or two decks every single day and just have a good time. So I'm getting OTK'd next turn. Unless he can draw a Frost Plague, which would be nice, but if he doesn't draw a Frost Plague, that would be bad. I want more Vampiric Bloods. I miss having 70 HP. Okay, I don't know if you necessarily need more Vampiric Bloods, but I'm saying that, like, having two of them again... Like, Warrior can gain enough armor to have, like, 70 HP worth of HP, right? So, what's the dealio? I can get to 37 HP. That's it. My blood for the Lich King. This actually just gains me more HP than the Primus would. <laughs> Stand and fight. I mean, we have 40 it's HP now, fight. which isn't terrible. 40 HP is okay. We'll freeze him, so if he plays like a weapon, he can't attack me at the same time. Losing one maker is good. Oh, he wanted to do that so he, if he drew a plague, he would overdraw, which was actually kind of smart. I don't know if 40 HP is going to be enough, though. 10 mana, a full hand of cards. Probably one to two spell damage minions. I should be dead, but we'll see. If you have 50 HP, it's hard for them to OTK you. We're still over, we'll, we'll still be overkilled at 40 HP, fair enough. The burst window is 30 damage to 43 damage. Okay, well, again, this is why we need something like Vampiric Blood in here. <laughs> the, storm is the third thing about max HP is that it's permanent. So even if you take 30 damage, you can heal it back with armor. You have unlimited supply. I mean, that's true. That is definitely true. I'm not saying that you're wrong about that. That is a good, that is a valid point. Um, no, it's, that is a good point. So, like, that's why I said maybe not discovering Vampiric Bloods, but getting two of them again. And, I mean, Warrior can gain so much armor so fast for what seems to be three anyway. How much damage can you do to me? No shot. You still have half of your deck to get through, man. You still have half of your deck, man. No way. No way. No way that last card's a direct damage spell. I refuse to fucking read it.
Why do you not run Ma and Pa? Because Ma and Pa's not that good. But I can run it, I guess. Oh my gosh, the game crashed. We can try to run a Ma and Pa. I just don't really know what to take out. I guess Dr. Stitch is kind of shit. I would rather do that anyway. It kind of hurts the deck too much. Triple rune cards are just too restricting, I think. What the hell? With armor, you go to max all the time. No matter what with HP. <laughs> yeah, but that's the other thing. Like, all of Death Knight stuff is healing related. So if you're at 30 HP, playing Death Strike for 4 mana to deal 6, heal 6 is so bad. Because then it's just worse Fireball, right? It's just way worse Fireball. I'm also waiting because I'm pretty sure it, like, logged me into the match. And I don't want to actually play that match with that deck, so it's fine. I might play Dread Druid at some point, but not right now. Please don't log me into the game, please. Please don't. Oh, you're gonna crash. No, fuck you, man. Don't do that. No. Gather round, okay, thank the goodness I was unable to connect. Think I look thirsty? Well, I'm, I'm literally drinking water right now. King versus Morgul. Hmm. Another shaman's kind of interesting. If I can draw Heli, like I also think in that last matchup, if they had drawn a couple more plagues, it maybe was doable. But this is not bad. We want to draw cards. We want to try to drop Ma and Pa or Helia on four because I think it's hard for them to deal with that unless they use their gift to put Hex on Ma and Pa, which essentially still gains me five HP. Right, it still essentially gains me 5 HP because um, they're using a lightning bolt on, they're using a hex on it instead of a lightning bolt. Mining casualties is fine. I don't think they should have played pop-up book. They probably need this for direct damage later on, but sure, whatever floats your boat. Boom, we'll play a chill fall and bear next turn. I am surprised that they're nerfing the shaman gift though. Oh, you might be going Highlander. Okay, well, in this case, plagues are gonna just end your career. And we drew Helia. Do I just coin her out and make him cry? I'm thinking about it. I'm thinking there are other ways I can use the coin. I already have a three drop. I feel like it's not worth it to coin it out yet. Like, if I didn't have a potential just three drop to play, yeah, I coin it out, but since I do, Playing the plagues one turn sooner isn't that big of a deal, but drawing cards a little bit sooner actually is kind of a big deal. So. You have earned an okay, technically I should have drawn a card first, but I don't think there's a world where it's not Helia here. And then boom, and then we'll hit and then we'll go face with this one. Two tendrils is fine. 
Uh, we have enough corpses. Hopefully we can get the plague weapon off of this. If not, maybe we can use Hematurge to discover another one of these. All right, let's see what happens. Make my minions cost... Oh. Okay, well, sure. All right. No way! And it hits my minion? You're joking. You're joking! We've created a temporal anomaly. I'm tilted. I'm tilted. Hit your minion. Are you kidding me, dude? Do you know how unlucky I get when I play it and then you hit my minion every time? These are fucking terrible. Um, I mean, I guess this is the most damage if it gets to that stage of the game and we can freeze some big minions. The battle. Then we'll play a new one. This is now active. Let's see if we can find it this time. We do find it. I don't think I want lifesteal. I think plagues are way more important here. This goes here, and we have another corpse to actually play this. This is going to lose its buff next turn, so it really isn't that big of a deal. And I will take probably Headless Horseman, because Mon Paw is good. But I feel like in a deck like this, they can kill it, whereas I might need to kill a minion. I don't exactly know 100%, but I might need to kill something. Like, they could play the Eye this turn, the 5-4 that gives them more tentacles, tendrils, whatever, and I can kill it with this. Whereas Maw and Paw wouldn't really do much. Yeah, shoveling more plagues into their deck is nice. Uh, we play around Highlander if they happen to be running that iteration of the build. So we'll, we're happy with this. What did I tell you? They were going to play it. Wait, four mana. Oh, that makes sense. But now we play Headless Horseman and we get rid of it. Are you fucking kidding me, dude? I'm gonna coin out Soul Stealer next turn, so I guess this turn is just. I guess Corpse Ex. Fuck. I have no corpses left. This allows me to kill off a couple more minions, I guess, and take less damage. I'll go coin Soul Stealer next turn anyway, it doesn't really matter. Am I just dead? I mean, that's a lot of damage. He did draw a Frost Plague. And an Unholy Plague, which is pretty decent, actually. So his cards good. cost more. I'm, I'm, I'm for that. Mm. My eyes are My Next battle. Oh, uh, we are so fucked. <laughs> we are so doomed, actually. It's not even funny. Headless? No, we're just going to coin out this because we need to wipe the entire board here. Uh, hit first, sorry. And then we'll just bonk him in the face again. It's no big deal. We're gonna have to figure out a way to start healing. We have two Headless Horsemen that we can play to kill off a big minion or two, but... I think I just get outvalued here. Even though I had Helia on curve. Okay. Might need to be another Soul Stealer turn. I mean, it definitely is another Soul Stealer turn. Oh my god. I mean, Soul Stealer again, put more plagues into their deck, was hoping for Frost Plagues, but it doesn't matter. All the all the tendrils are just one mana things anyway. Jam session? Sure. Corpse explosion, so I have enough mana to do something else afterwards, but I don't actually think that does anything. I think Soul Stealer's better here. Oh, they draw Frost Plague this turn and an Unholy Plague. Unholy Plague doesn't really do too much though, unfortunately, but that's nice. They draw some plagues again. Soul Stealer again. It gives me a lot of corpses, so Corpse Explosion is active, but I might just die in like a turn because they play Shutter Block and then they play the other card. And as long as they, if they don't, if they low roll and get a ton of table flips, it's definitely still winnable. But I would say more often than not, I can't believe that they got a stupid infested watcher and they didn't pull out a tendril from their deck or something else like the celestial projectionist. That was so unlucky. Literally there was one card in the deck that like fucks me and it was that. Table flips fine. And then that, okay. We can kill it with this. But I'm pretty sure we're just dead. 
We've created a temporal anomaly. Table, 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 table. Fuck off. I mean, it's not bad, but it's not good enough. Geppetto? Uh, GG. Literally was just the worst set of things that could have happened. I mean, I drew Helia, but other than that, it was just like the worst set of RNG. Randomly targeted Helia, not once, but twice. There was a, um... I mean, they had to hit the two and six, the one and six twice, and they got it. And then they pulled out the four, six, and gained armor. Literally, the four, four was like, this was the worst possible thing that could have happened, because it also gives them more tendrils. The tendrils, for the most part, hit the nuts and summoned them a whole bunch of other minions. It was really bad. It was really, really bad. Will serve me. Helia is pretty frustrating in this matchup. I need to find Helia more than anything else, I think. As much as I want to keep Dirty Rat to play around, um, to play around Bran, I think Helia is actually better because it just means he can't play Bran. So I need to try to find Helia as quickly as possible. Here's the coin, so we can coin it out on five. So if I can find Helia by turn five, we're happy. If I can find Helia by turn five, we're very happy with this. Chill Fallen Baron twice. But that means I'm gonna, well, okay. It doesn't really matter because then I also have to get it down with the ship. Any good deck that uses Geppetto? I mean, the Tendril decks and Jade Druid. The Tendril decks are actually good though. Warrior and Shaman are actually really, really strong. We did get Dirty Rat. So if we don't find Helio, we can play Dirty Rat on five. So that way, uh, maybe we can snipe Bran. Could be decent. We already gone over the buffs and nerfs. I mean, I did briefly. I think Hunter needed more nerfs. I think Hunter needed more nerfs. Paladin probably could have done with one more nerf. I don't think Aftershocks should have been nerfed. And I don't think these buffs are going to do anything unless they're like big buffs. I think there should have been more buffs, actually. The Citadel stands strong. So that's my general thought process. I actually think that this... A lot of the times I'm like on board with what they're doing. But in this one, I think they missed the mark a bit with several other things. I also don't think nerfing Odin is correct. I think they should have nerfed Bran. I think Bran is the problem that enables basically everything else in that class. He could double coin it out next turn, which means I have to play Dirty Rat. But the problem is if I play Dirty Rat, there's a high likelihood that I just die. I'll play it, whatever. Fuck it, we'll play it again. Hit Bran, man. Thank you. Second one always hits. He might just concede after that. <laughs> I mean... Yeah, this is why he wants to coin it out a turn earlier, which means I needed to play the Dirty Rats. Actually, very lucky that it... You know what? The game, the losing to that one Shaman where everything, everything went wrong, kind of balances out where everything kind of just went right for me here. <laughs> He's thinking like, what the fuck am I supposed to do about this now? <laughs> what is this? Um, also, I pulled out Celestial Projectionist, which means that this is not really a problem. Okay, hit your own minion. Let's freaking go, baby! I'll kill that off. This is actually a pretty good position. 
But yeah, I don't know. I think I think certain things. But I I get it, right? Like they don't want to over nerf something because it's very early on in the expansion. They don't want to they don't want to jump the gun. And I I do get that. Mon pause kind of interesting. HP could be good. How much removal do I, I mean? I have two corpse explosions, two soul stealers. And I have the, yeah, I think I'm just gonna go with Ma and Paul because that's a card that can like snowball. Down with the ship's cool, but I don't want to play that until I get Helia. I don't have a code for Jade Druid. I have never played Jade Druid. I just know that it's a deck some people are playing. But I don't know, when I look at the win rate of, um, coin, are you gonna draw two cards? When I look at the win rate of Hunter and it's 57%, only slightly behind Paladin, which people are like unanimously, unanimously saying is like the best deck in the game, which it is. And only seeing one nerf from Hunter is bonkers to me. I also like Aftershock because it's like one of the best early removals for Shaman and Warrior to deal with hyper aggressive decks like Hunter. So not only did they nerf Death. Um, several other classes and barely like to be fair. I don't know what the nerf to the tremors is I mean, it could be big. I don't know. They could be like two ones in which case maybe it's fine but like you you nerf hunter once and then you nerf several of their counters a couple of times so net positive for hunter still <laughs> Well, that's just my thought process. I don't know I don't really want to play the headless horseman yet because there's not really a big minion to kill at the same time, I kind of do just want to kill it. Even though I want to play Ma and Paw, it's this, and we'll see if we can draw the head sooner rather than later. I just think it's nice to play it. Like, the sooner I play it, the sooner I might draw the head. Is my thought process. We can play Ma and Paw next turn as well. It's not a big deal. I don't know. Uh, Hunter concedes to Emulation Aura, like, every time. No, yeah, like, that's the thing. They nerfed probably one of the best individual cards against Hunter, and then one of the next best cards against Hunter. So basically, three of the best classes in the game had their matchup significantly hurt. I guess I would rather than freezing trap this. I already hit a card that I wanted, so. It could be bait and switch, though. Yeah, it was bait and switch. Whatever, man. Ma and Pa just dies, though, is the thing. It just insta-dies. So there's really no reason to play it. Burn on this turn. It'll die to Bladestorm is what I'm saying. <laughs> I'm trying to think about what I want to play here. I'll play both of these. The reason I'm playing both of these is because I want to empty my hand so I can play this with this eventually. These three comboed together for nine mana, pretty insane. Mon Paw probably dies, but I'm using it to try to soak a little bit of damage here, or he lets it live and I gain some value from it. It's it's not that big of a deal. I have another Mon Paw, so it's not a big deal. Warlock is the one benefiting the most from the nerfs. Oh yeah, the super hyper aggressive decks that were keeping the wheel in check. Oh yeah, those decks, they're getting massively nerfed while Warlock's not even getting touched. So, a class that's already pretty good, already a top four class, isn't getting nerfed. Actually, is Demon Hunter getting nerfed that hard? No Demon Hunter nerfs either. So I guess there, there are two really good aggro decks. Interesting, okay. Two really good aggro decks. Hunter and Demon Hunter. And they nerfed several control tools like the Aura and Aftershocks. You let him live is crazy is just nuts to me. What? Why would you do that? Wait, why? Does he have spell? Why does he have spell damage? What's glowing? What? Oh, Celestial Shot. Okay. 
I'll beat them all. Hmm. And they will fall. I mean, do I really want to kill this that badly? I don't think I do. I'll play a second Long Paul. It's fine, I guess. He draws two cards off of it, but he was always going to draw at least one, so it's not like a big deal. This is fine. I guess he can play Reno this turn, which would kind of suck because I wasn't able to play Helia and stop his Reno, but it's not like the biggest deal in the world if he plays Reno. I don't think I'd mind too much. Demon Hunter fans rise up. Honestly, I'm not a fan of Demon Hunter. Um, but at the same time, I feel like Demon Hunter's been in kind of a rough spot for a really long time, so I'm pretty okay with it being somewhat meta. I don't, I mean, again, I'm not like a huge fan of it. In fact, I would say that I'm very much not. I think it's my least favorite class. I think it goes Demon Hunter, Rogue, and then Priest as my least favorite classes. But sometimes a, a class has to be good at some point, you know? It had its time at the beginning, and it was very good for a very long time. I think a lot of people complained about it, and then eventually they stopped uh, promoting it. Oh my goodness gracious, you have to be kidding me. I think one of the Ma and Paws still lives, which gains me even more H. I lied. One more death can't hurt. I mean, draw a card. Draw a card. Draw. Draw. I was hoping to get the stupid head, man. Okay, give me the uh, the plague one. Let's go, baby. Smack him in the face. I guess I could have. I can't kill this. I guess I could have tried to, because celestial projectionist exists. But I don't think it's a big enough deal. I was hoping to draw the head there. He does have a duplicate now, so Reno is no longer active. God, I love the rag combo. It's just so fun for. Th to three drop rags, or to drop three rags on turn six or seven. Fair enough, it, it's a pretty cool combo, I'll admit. I wonder if that deck runs Tony. Yeah, I kind of knew that was coming. They're a Highlander deck, they only run one copy of it, but... Their main win condition is also not active anymore. Also, where the fuck is Halia? It's okay. I'm getting pissed. I really need to play Corpse Explosion. If I play this, it leaves a mini now on the board, and I do kind of want to kill their board, so. Could also just be Corpse Explosion. I have enough mana to play this and then something else. Yeah, let's do that. Boom, let's see what I get. Maybe I get something good. I do get another Headless Horseman, which means I can shuffle another head into the deck, which I think is pretty valuable. And then I will do this. I really need to pee. I actually need to pee so badly that I think I'm going to leave in the middle of the game and hopefully his turn is long. I'll be right back. Also, goodbye, Silver. This is not what we stood for. I lied. I'm going to stay. He took his turn fairly quickly, so I think I'm going to stay. Uh, we're going to play Headless Horseman again, and then we're going to play Helia. Kittles the 5 4. And then we play Helly. I'll get rid of the Divine Shield. Because I don't like seeing the Divine Shield. And now I will leave because I'm going to do it right when I end my turn. And I don't think he'll be that fast. Okay, we are back right now.
You have earned an eternity of torment. Don't worry, it looks great! Uh, what the fuck? What the fuck did I just miss? No, no fucking way. Are you serious? What the fuck? There's no way. Holy shit. There's no way that just happened. We'll play around Bladestorm with this as well. What? I was gone for 30 seconds and next thing you know they have Heli and they're playing it against what the fuck? Oh my gosh, man I'm pissed The Uno reverse card fuck this guy man. I'm pissed man. Oh My gosh wait Did I not discover an undead minion? Did I disconnect? Wait, what? Where did my undead minion go? Am I stupid? Oh, wait, I discovered Corpse Bride and then I played it. I'm stupid. No! Luckily, I have two of them. It's fine. I, I'm i completely blind. We're not going to... Look, I, I went to the bathroom. I came back. Everything had changed. We're not going to talk about it. Now I'm refocused. Oh, God. My 1010 10 lives every time here. My 1010 10 lives every time here. Every time. I'll take it. A 1-1 one, one lived. Sure. Fucking fine. Give me a sick undead minion. Ma and put wait a minute. How many okay, what what cool death rattle? Uh it was card draw. Not sure if I'm a fan of card draw. What other death rattles do I have? Uh, yeah, I think it's got to be Ma and Pa, unfortunately. Go face! Continue to play around Bladestorm a little bit, I think. Maybe I overcommitted. I don't know. That's huge. That's huge. I mean, how many plagues do they have? They've won two... It says here they've got nine versus my three. Most of their deck left is plagues. I think they only have eight plagues. No, they have Helia plus one weapon attack plus the plague than the plague. So they have eight in their deck. I don't know why their number is going up. They should have eight. Eight out of 13 cards versus three out of 10 cards. I like my odds. I like my odds quite a bit. Better to be pissed off than pissed on. True. You are not wrong about that. I will give I'll give you that one. Okay, I'm going to have to be incredibly unlucky to lose the plague battle this time. And I discover an undead minion every turn. Okay. That feels good. It's a little rude, but okay. They're going to die anyway, so I might as well do this. Oh my goodness gracious, dude. Uh, that's so good. They don't run silence or anything. More plagues! Let's go. Woo. Not bad. I actually really like my position at this point. They can't play Reno. I mean, I guess they could to get a new hero power, but it wouldn't really do anything. Sure, shuffle more into their deck. It's the worst one, but it's fine. Actually, no. In this particular situation, it's probably the second best one. 
Normally, I like Blood Plagues more to heal up, but I don't know. Considering the fact that I'm at full HP and I need to apply pressure, I think the other one's better. Ooh, not playing it for its quick draw cost. A little bit weird, a little cringe, actually. Better to be pissed off than pissed on. I mean, that is that is a saying as old as time, isn't it? Now that's that's a that's a real oldie but a goodie. For sure. I don't know why this guy's still in the game, to be honest. I if I were him, I would have like lost it at this point. I'm not gonna trade or try to draw any more cards. Um, that's fine. Good value. I don't necessarily want to play the other one, though. That feels good. But, uh, what was I saying? Oh, yeah, I don't want to draw cards because I don't want to accidentally draw a plague. Like, I'm already in a pretty good spot where I'm generating an extra minion every single turn. I've got some healing. I've got two really good removal spells. It's, it's, we're in such a great spot at this point. We have a taunt minion, so he can't hit me in the face. I don't this really know how he wins. He's not even playing that for the finale cost, so he's not even getting maximum value. Is there a rem replace for the hero card? Only card I'm missing. Oh, the hero card? I mean, you could probably replace it. You can discover off of things like the Hematurge anyway, but it is still a very, very good card if you have it. If not, you can run some other like tech cards, I guess, if you want to try to run something like that. Do I want to kill this? Or do I want to just go face and hit there? I'll just hit face, because I kind of want this to die anyway. Uh, I do like excavations. I do like excavating cards, I will be honest. The rock? I mean, I don't really need to do anything else. Let's just play there their snake oil so we empty out some space in our hand. It doesn't really matter too much to me at all. More plagues, I mean... Am I missing something here? Does he have a win condition that I'm just not thinking of? Almost his entire deck is plagues at this point. He's got 10 plagues and 12 cards. He's just dead in three turns, guaranteed. Not to mention the fact that I have board pressure and I'm getting infinite stuff. Honestly, this deck is not bad. I don't know if this deck is necessarily really good. I don't know, but I don't think that it's bad. You're drawing more cards, you silly head. It's got about a 50% win rate, and it, it does lose to OTK Shaman a bit. I will admit that as well. Wait, how many did you just draw? What the heck? You're going nuts. That is so many plagues. Okay, I mean, you're still alive. I don't know why we're still here, though. If you DC, he wins. It's not the best, but it's a win condition. Fair enough. Okay, thank goodness. He finally conceded. GG, my friend. G freaking G. That was a 22 minute long game. Well, I think that's it for stream today. Um, I streamed a little bit longer than I wanted to because my stream yesterday was a little bit short and it felt rushed. So hope you all enjoyed. I'll see you guys tomorrow. I don't know exactly when these nerfs are coming or uh, are going live. They just say in patch 29.03. I don't know when that is. Maybe it's Thursday. Maybe it's next week on Tuesday. Honestly, I don't know, but we'll see what happens. Uh, these are the nerfs though. If you guys want to take one more look, they're nerfing the Tremors, the, um, the Rush Minion, the aura that gives life steal, divine shield, wind fury, the uh, shaman gift that means that they basically just get lightning bolt over and over and over again, aftershock, which I disagree with, uh, Odin, which I don't think is the main problem in warrior. There are other cards I would have nerfed, and then one Zilliax augment. I guess. Uh, hold on. This this shows more of them. Wait. 
but it's um it's the aura that or it's the one that costs less and then two buffs which are basically pointless i would have liked to see a couple more buffs and I would have liked to see a couple more nerfs, uh, specifically to Hunter. I think Hunter should have gone with at least one, up to maybe even two more nerfs. I would, have, I would have nerfed at least two more cards in Hunter. I don't know exactly what I would have nerfed in Hunter. But I would have nerfed something, goddammit, because my goodness, it is so strong. Like, okay, let's just, let's just look right here. And see what I would have nerfed in Hunter real quick, I guess. Because Awakening Tremors is just so good. It is kept every single time. The Mulligan Winery is really good. Um, what else would I have nerfed? I mean, just in general, I would have nerfed Leroy. Because Leroy is a very problematic card. And he's in several decks that he's able to just finish people off with. It's just, he feels so bad to lose to. But Zilliax being nerfed is good. This is good. I don't know. Like, what's a card that I think has a really high win rate? I don't think the remote needs a nerf. I don't think this needs a nerf. I don't think Jungle Gym needs a nerf either, to be honest. I guess it is kind of hard to, like, determine one card that needs to be nerfed in this deck. Because everything, just everything has really good value. A 1-mana 2-2 two -two with stealth... That is also two minions, which synergizes very well with multiple hunter cards. Endless 1-1 one, one minions, tons of extra 1-1 one, one minions with a good death rattle. You want, have, you want to have wide boards for Observer of Myths as well as the Jungle Gym. Bananas synergizes amazingly with cheap minions and uh, Vicious Slither Spear and Stealth minions because you can never kill them. You have ways of pumping. I don't know. It's just a really, 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 really good deck. I don't know exactly what I would have nerfed, to be honest. that's not my job yeah i hope you guys enjoyed i'll see you guys tomorrow if you haven't already like the video